Kaya, dream is near and far. <laughs> Welcome back to Halos in the Half. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm back. As practiced. As practiced, perfect. Uh, as we come together to experience art, language, and story, we pay our respects to the owners of this beautiful budget uh, and to the oldest living culture in the world. Always was and always will be Aboriginal land. It is a pleasure to have everybody back with us uh, here for the second episode of D&D Live Presents Halos in the Heart. Woo! Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Uh, that's the one. one. There that, it is. That's what I'll team you up for. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd like to introduce my beautiful storytellers around my table with me today. Uh, starting you. with... Oh, oh, cool. uh, starting with Dana Brennan. Oh, that's me first. Yeah. Um, hey, I'm Dana Brennan. You may know me from... You may know me from yesterday's stream. I played Buggy, um, or from last week's last week's stream. I played Jasper, or from anything else. I'm kind of around, and I also have full control of the TikTok now. That was no, a mistake. Not true. Yes. I'm an actor. I'm an actor in Confirmed. Perth. I'm an actor in Perth, and I control Crescent Creations DB, which is where I sew things like dice trays and dice bags. You should check it out. You can find me at Dana.a.brennan on Instagram and TikTok as well. Um, yeah, that's me. Woo. Nice. Uh, let us pass us over to uh, Emmett Astor. Hello, I'm Emmett Astor. My pronouns are they, he. Um, Taylor's pronouns are she, her. Yeah, thank you. It's on the overlay. She I'm a um, multidisciplinary artist and theatre maker um, based in Perth. Uh, and I'm also the producer of D&D Live Presents. Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Control of the TikTok shared with Dana. <laughs> Um, Not anymore. <laughs> I think that was all the things. Oh, you can find me at Emmett Aster, E double M, E double T, Aster, A S T E R, on social media, Instagram and TikTok. Beautiful. Uh, and <laughs> Abby Katara. Hello, everyone. It's Abby again. Pronouns she, they. Um, you can find me on Abby Cat Doe on Instagram. Not really around, but you can find me on Instagram at least. A B B Y K A T D O. Um, local based Perth actor on the scene and new into D D, but. Streaming is a thing, so <laughs> give that one a go. <laughs> uh, and I am your uh, game master, Robbie Fieldwick, pronounced he there. What? <laughs> I'm the it, one sounds, who it, it sounds like you're That's saying game master. It doesn't am, sound like you're saying game master. It sounds like you're saying, I'm Robbie, your game master. I, am I know your, it's not funny because it's not. <laughs> I'm your game master. Uh, I am a uh, Perth based actor, performer, divisor, director. Um, uh, who works uh, in the kind of Perth and Mandra scenes. Um, I have been playing d, &D for about four years and have gotten the stream up and going with, uh, with some good friends uh, at d, &D Live Presents. d, &D Live Presents is a uh, Perth-based performance group uh, who will be doing live shows, much like one we have coming up on the 10th to the 13th of May. Uh, we are doing Peter Pan, uh, a live show experience, uh, the live show D&D &D experience in Perth scene. We're currently running a raffle uh, to raise funds for this event uh, that you can still purchase tickets in for $2 uh, an entry, uh, no maximum entries. And we also have some merch currently up that you might find on the overlay or in the chat. Uh, and. Uh, contributions towards those merch also gets you entries into the raffle. So check, check that out, yeah? And yeah! On this stream, after the interval. Yeah. yeah! The raffle gets drawn on this stream. Good luck, um, everybody. I just got told after the interval. I thought it was at the very end, so... <laughs> Oh, maybe it's at the very end. Uh, we will find <laughs> we'll out. I'm a little surprised that you're not allowed to click off because yeah. it could be any time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, brilliant. So, welcome back to... Eden. Settled in times past by two strangers, Eden is much more than a humble garden. It is magic, it is adventure, it is life and stories. Join us as we explore the distinct regions and meet the many diverse inhabitants of this vibrant world. To the west, Arba stands, a triumph of people's will, faith and beauty working to carve a life out of the tangled vines. To the north, you will find Blossom, uh, a land defined by nature's wrath, overgrown and overflowing too dangerous to survive. To the south lies Faison, where harmony is in a delicate balance. And to the east lies Thornrow, where the battle between civilization and nature burns brightest. Let me get up. Here it is. Um, sorry, guys. One second. Previously on Halos in the Half, uh, we met three will-be adventurers as they come together at a library. 
the desolate library jewel of Wolfden, where poetry, cartography, research, and community spirit come together. We met B, a hobgoblin poet who has left the warm embrace of their family uh, to pursue a life of adventure, magic, and art. Jasper, an inquisitive druid running from a mysterious past. And we met Tori, our lovable barbarian, who must track Aww. down <laughs> who must track down an ally to solve her spreading curse. And we met many more residents of Wolfden. Clove Quilvin, our librarian, our tired librarian. Ooh, uh, I wonder some, how she's doing. Some eager jam yeah. enthusiasts, some neighborhood watchmen, and a geometric headed, many eyed being with a maddening yet comforting persona. This stranger squeezed out a few cryptic words in a warning to our, uh, to our heroes last night. Something about seeds, as best they can recall, before aptly disappearing once more. And just as our heroes' night couldn't get any stranger, a friendly young woman uh, performed some fairly edgy prose uh, at a bit of a spoken word uh, performance that was going on at the it's library. It's me. I'm the edgy woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as their voice dropped... Uh, going into a guttural growl, a monstrous leathery winged creature burst forth, tearing itself from the skin, and hooded figures emerged from out of the crowd, uh, and uh, that is where I would like us all to roll initiative, yeah? Woo! Yeah, first initiative! Alright, let us Whoa. hit some oh, initiative. That was huge. I was putting that 20 at the dice and I can roll them out. <laughs> so it's re- what you get for overreaching. One. Yeah. <laughs> You started that off too early, you've got to let the luck build up. Uh, can I have any 25s to 20s? 20! That's really? Yeah, wow. 19, that's huge for a barbarian. Oh, whoa. I lifted uh, the curse. 20 to a 15. 19, I rolled 18. Nine. Wow, you guys rolled fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and B, where are we finding you initiative? Three. At three. With a natural one. With a natural one. Oh, yeah. With a natty one. Oh, yeah. Natty one. 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 Uh, yeah, you guys are in, in this uh, in the dusk lit library. There is uh, a stained glass and uh, clear paned uh, roof about forty feet above you, kind of domed out, uh, letting through some of the moonlight that is just peeking, uh, just peeking in. Dusk has well and truly set, uh, and the night is beginning to grow darker. Uh, the library is uh, is extravagant in a sense. It's an old building, but everything in here seems to be kind of vibrant and new. A lot of money has been put into this particular endeavor. Uh, and the workers are well-dressed. Clove is a kind of well-dressed, seemingly uh, well-anointed individual uh, who was very, 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 very tired. Um, there are plenty, there's plenty around in the library. It is kind of cluttered and messy. Uh, there are bookshelves lining the walls and jutting out uh, into open spaces where there are small tables and desks and chairs to kind of sit down and read. Uh, there are some larger kind of crates uh, with more books and produce that was bringing in from a market stall a couple of nights ago uh, within the library itself. There is a large central tree uh, filling up the, the middle of this space where at the base is where the performances were occurring. And around this tree, there are uh, some stone tables, uh, sorry, some stone benches uh, where the crowd would sit and, uh, and watch these, these poetry proceedings. There is a fair number of commoners, individuals, villagers in this, uh, in this room right now who are being caught up in the kind of chaos and mess uh, of, this, um, uh, of, of this combat here. You count about eight or nine of them, uh, as a few of them do kind of step out from the crowd. Individuals that uh, Tori encountered earlier as being kind of uh, stronger villagers, almost like a neighborhood watch type guard, uh, not official town watch by any means, but uh, willing to kind of push themselves into this fight and and to uh, to aid here. Oh, they're on my side. They're on your side. Ah. There, there are seemingly some villagers who are kind of taking up arms to help you. Uh, but you're kind of of trying to scan around to see who's antagonistic right now, the big thing you catch is the wiving. You're not quite sure who else is. Uh, (laughs) Something's telling me. (laughs) um, uh, Kind of with that scene uh, scene that laid, you see Clove immediately turn around from behind her desk at the back uh, as uh, as they begin to jostle for uh, a lock uh, and begin to try and head out of this room. They're heading out a back door. Uh, one that uh, Jasper was led led through earlier, seemed to lead to uh, a few different other nooks and crannies within the library. 
Um, but as uh, as Chloe uh, rattles with their keys and turns around and begins to try and open that lock, the door has not opened yet. Jasper, it is your turn. What would you like to do in this mess? What? It's me. Did I? Ah, it is. I was 20. It is, yeah. It is a Tory so, first. It's okay. I know you're just testing us. Anything for the day. <laughs> We're DM. paying attention. Yeah. Don't worry. We listen sometimes. Um, I said previously that I have gotten out my war hammer because mm-hmm. I was getting mad vibes. <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm going to run up to the front of the wyvern as I am charging forward. I'm maybe thinking about my eyes and thinking about and maybe go for a leap again, but I wasn't not sure if this was the time. I would leap towards the Wyvern <laughs> with my eyes closed, hopefully landing in front of it, and put myself into a rage. And you hear like the sound of branches snapping as like my arm grows a bit, and you can see the light start to emanate from beneath the bandages I wrapped underneath. Mm-hmm. Very healthy looking arm. Um, and I like raise my war hammer and I'm like. Um, bonus action rage. Yeah. Uh, as you jump forward, the wire has kind of picked itself up almost about 10 feet off of the ground at this Damn point. Damn you! Uh, it's within swinging distance if you want to kind of like swing above your head, but you're not it? you're not staring it down face. What if it. I leap? Yeah, with no, my no. eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get up on one of these benches and like leap. Absolutely. And swing. Yes, you can. Uh, there are two benches. Uh, yeah, the, the bench that you're the bench that you're closest to, you can absolutely hop up onto, and that will get you within that kind of five feet uh, reach of this of this wyvern. Excellent, and I'd like to do it reckless. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like to go reckless because I'm leaping and feeling a bit. Uh, are your eyes closed in the leap as well, well this time, look, or not? I feel like this is not the time. Fair enough. Fair enough. And maybe the advantage is my eyes being open. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I thought about it a bit, and I was like, mm, maybe not. Whoa, good thing I did that. That is a 23 to hit the Wyvern. Uh, 23 to hit the Wyvern absolutely hits. Excellent. Um, it's not yours. One to him. Oh, that's a lot. And it is plus 11 bludgeoning damage, and I'm going to put a Divine Fury into that bad boy. Brilliant. Wow, okay. Starting off a strong... <laughs> massive. Um, so 11 bludgeoning... And... Mm-hmm. Or radiant. No worries. And like as the hammer hits, I'm aiming for like one of the legs, one of mm-hmm. the front legs in the air, and I try and like crack into it, and you can hear a bit of like boom as like the yellow radiant energy like hits the side. Right. Um, massive. Uh, as you uh, slam into its kind of leg, you see this and kind I fall. of. <laughs> <laughs> you, do, you do drop down five feet, uh, landing just underneath it. Um, uh, you hear the yeah the sound of bark cracking and twining uh, as this kind of like uh, radiant light sears up the legs uh, and seems to kind of burn bright within the foot of this creature, seemingly kind of uh, glowing now a little bit from from the impact you left. And as I I land on the floor, I'm like, look, I'm really sorry, but your poetry is just not that good. <laughs> uh, as a re- as a reaction, it is going to uh, move itself up twenty feet. Um, to that... get out of reach of any more of your attacks. But because I landed, I can't go again with my reaction? Uh, or... uh, what are your thoughts on this? You are on the four when your reaction is uh, available. I will say... Uh, I will say no. I will say that I'll say that you land on the floor, uh, it is now just out of that kind of reach of you. Uh, Look at the length of my Warhammer. <laughs> I could make this work. <laughs> uh, and I end my turn. I'm going to stay directly underneath. Directly underneath? No yeah. worries. Uh, Tori is underneath our wyvern. Cool. Um, brilliant. Is that going to be your turn? Yep. Uh, at the end of that, you see some of these hooded individuals that kind of rise themselves up. Uh, as this wyvern lets out this horrifying, like, <laughs> noise, uh, each of these kind of cultists... Uh, as they kind of pull up the hoods, you see begin to almost like melt a little bit uh, in their uh, in their figure. Um, they kind of like hunch down a little bit more with this kind of uh, racking noise in their ears. Some kind of transformation begins to take place uh, as a few of these uh, individuals you see grow hair kind of along their arms uh, and kind of like tail kind of whips out underneath the cloak. Some kind of hybrid transformation has, is occurring here. Um, 
On their turn, however, they are going to run straight to their bookshelves besides them. Uh, these two are going to go to these bookshelves. They just uh, really like to read. To yeah, it's reading time. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Thirty minutes silent reading. Right yeah. Now. <laughs> uh, as they approach the bookshelves, uh, they kind of like each are trying to seemingly reach into the bookshelves and kind of tear out some of the books. Oh, uh, they hate in, oh in no! As well, oh. just kind of scattering some no. of the some of the knowledge here. Uh, that is all they do on their turn, however. Uh, sorry, how many cultists were there? Uh, I'll let anybody who wants to make a perception check see... <gasps> reaction? Uh, not, not a reaction, just a free action. Free just free get a gauge of kind of everything going on right now, who's on your side, who's not. Ugh. Seven. <laughs> Seven? No. I take back. Five. Five? Six. Rough. Six? Okay, we got there. <laughs> Seven, <laughs> five, or six. Which one? It's six. It's definitely six. I forgot cool. about... Fourteen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Uh, you guys see the two who are who just burst out from the same kind of seating area that you guys were sitting in. They were right behind you. Uh, and they've kind of just like burst out, uh, begun their transformation and, and headed out. So two right next to you, really. Uh, they've now kind of created this about 15, 10 foot space between you each, but they're still in the approximate area. Uh, brilliant. Um, Jasper, it is your turn now. Turn. Yeah. Um, so how far is Clove away from us right now? Clove, uh, from you, uh, is behind the trees, like on the other side of the room, really. But that uh, is... I think we're like here. Exactly. And Clove is like behind the desk, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 35 feet. 35 feet, okay. Um, can I just inch like 10 feet closer? Yep. Uh, there are you up a kind of behind one of the stone benches right now. Yeah. Uh, you could try and like vault over the benches and kind of head head through them, uh, or you could kind of take a path around. I'm right, happy. right in front of you. You're like the back of the seating area, yeah. so you'd be pushing into. the I'm seating happy area. to take like uh, around the benches. Yeah. Um, close your eyes and leap over them. It's a great just option. As long as I'm getting like ten feet. I'm happy to be like on the edge, like where that bookshelf starts. Yep. Like at the edge of the benches and stuff. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you do scoot around and you become uh, you make yourself sandwiched in between these two cultists who are who are carrying oh. the bookshelves. Um, if you want to head around the <laughs> around the benches that way. Uh, <laughs> can yeah. I go the other direction? <laughs> you, you can pivot. Uh, how much of your movement do you want to spend to go? I'm happy way? to use all of it. Okay. Uh, five, <laughs> ten, fifteen, you can squeeze through some people and get to the other side of the benches. And yep. now am I like within thirty feet of Clove? Um, I will I will say uh, you can you it is possible for you to have maneuvered your way within the thirty feet. Cool. You just be taking it. You do have to kind of get right within the mess of all of the seats and whatnot to do so. That's, but I guess fine. Yeah. Um, okay. It is possible. And now, can I please cast, wait, yes, cast Moonbeam. Mm -hmm. I will um, look at Clove there, I'm keeping an eye, moving closer, and then turning, looking at the Wyvern. Mm -hmm. um, I will kind of reach into my um, pockets mm -hmm. and pull out, does it say what it needs material? Any like moon seed um, and like the, what does it say? Opalescent feldspar. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, I pull it out in my pockets. Absolutely. <laughs> whatever components I need, I have it. Yeah, in my pockets, pull it out, um, kind of smush them together. Um, like, if it's not, it's kind of like not really melding like I want it to, mm -hmm. I like spit in my hand and like yeah. press it in some more. And then. Why? <laughs> and then I like. <laughs> liquids can be in your component pouch, has been a bit. Um, I like twist my hands really quickly and mm. then put my hand up and just the moonbeams just strikes strikes straight down onto the wyvern. Onto the wyvern. Absolutely. Um, uh, uh, the moonbeam has a Trying to not fit. People? People. Okay. That I enjoy. It's me. Um, you... I'm the problem. There is a... Uh, what, is, what, is the, what is the size of the moonbeam? Uh... Five foot radius or five foot diameter? Five foot radius. Five foot radius, okay. So you need a ten foot area that doesn't have any people in it. Um, 
Uh, I'd say that's possible. That is that is only just, but it is possible. Yeah. <laughs> it's I like very that. Very finicky, but yeah. you can do it. Right. Okay, cool. So I do that, mm-hmm. um, and then I'm going to roll damage. May they make a constitution saving throw? They make a con save, no worries. Uh, that is a fail on their yeah. behalf. Yeah, so they take 2d10 radiant damage. 2d10. I'm going to roll that now with Huge. my dice. That um, is generally how Dungeons & Dragons is played. What? Um, oh, nice. That is 16. Wow. 16 radiant damage. Gnarly. And they like that. Um, no. <laughs> Did they like being blasted by the moon? <laughs> yeah. Um, with Fair my enough. with my bonus action, I'm gonna kind of look around, see all the cultists as well. Mm-hmm. Um, would you say that they are like we're kind of in a radius of like ten like ten feet, like twenty foot area? Would you say twenty foot diameter? Yes. Yeah, they're in. Yeah, they're, they're, there are two of them within that within that yeah. parameters. Um, I'm not going to worry about getting the wyvern in it because the wyvern's flying and that mm-hmm. means that it isn't affected. Yep. I'm mainly going for like cultists who were, are around, yep. but um, I'm going to look over to them and then like stamp my foot into the ground and just force all of these like weird, um, bony, like decay bits and pieces from the ground up and I'm defiling awesome. the ground. Yeah. Awesome. You see as they're already kind of tearing pages out of the shelf and throwing them onto the ground. Uh, some of the kind of like uh, loose loose papers just rot underneath uh, underneath their feet, Aww. and there's this black ooze kind of seeps out of the paper, like the ink crawling out, and begins kind of like crawl up their legs uh, around them. They don't seem to take notice uh, as they are very intent on on ruining books. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you've cast your moonbeam. You see the kind of clouds uh, directly above you, kind of part out. Uh, and just rays of light, as you can see, coming from all different directions within the sky, all just kind of uh, come into the domed, uh, the domed roof, and then kind of get like focused and yeah. slammed down. Into Was the it ground. like stained glass on that window? Uh, there is an outer ring of stained glass, and uh-huh. an inner ring, which is just clear pane. Okay. Um, the outer ring has kind of some uh, like astronomical signs and different, uh, different like lunar cycles and stuff up or, up around it as well. Nice. I'm aiming for Aries. I feel like Jess was an Aries. No worries. Uh, yeah, it, it channels through the Aries sign and <laughs> slams down if you'd like. Um, um, so that just means that they um, have, are in difficult terrain mm-hmm. that are only, only for the people that are hostile to me. Mm-hmm. And when they take damage, um, I get to roll an extra d4. Yep. No yes. worries. Um, and that's my turn. That is your turn. Uh, after your turn, uh, the wyvern is kind of like slamming its wings, beating up, uh, looking down around. Um, you see kind of drool coming off of the like a long extruded neck. Uh, it is searching around for something. Oh. But doesn't seem to particularly find its target. It raises itself uh, a little bit higher on the battlefield, uh, making up towards a second level. Uh, a second level up above that has kind of a balcony that overlooks uh, a mezzanine, if you will, that overlooks uh, the area down base. I know that balcony Favorite well. Word. You do know that balcony well. Uh, it is kind of searching up around up there. It's after the 18 plus section. Uh, that is its there. turn though. Uh, it just kind of raises itself up as high as it can get. Uh, about 10 feet above it is where the stained glass kind of uh, caught oh, That's its turn? Top. Uh, yeah, it just went directly up. So it ends its turn in the... Well, it starts its turn? It does start its turn in. Oh. So it does take more damage. That's, that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> does yeah, it, it have to roll for a con save again? Uh, it does have to roll for the con save yeah. again. Uh, and that is a success. Ah, uh, okay. Or that is an 18. Yeah, it's a success. Yeah. Oh, wow, oh, that one really just that one. out of town. Um, that's a total of five damage, so what, two rounded down? Yep, two rounded down. No nice. Effect, uh, effect full, effect full? No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Stop talking. Uh, Stop talking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, that clove popping up in the background. Uh, 
just at the door at the log. <laughs> uh, can I have a run of perception checks again from everybody yes. real quick? Just to see. Yes. Quick. Your passives are in, in kick, obviously, but just seeing what you're... 21. Nice. <laughs> on. I see all. 17. 17? I had dirty 20. <laughs> really high rolls. Uh, and still, you just see um, in the kind of back right uh, corner of the room, uh, one of these bookshelves just begins to kind of just burn up in flames, uh, just caught in a, in a wildfire all of a sudden. Did we, did we see source of that? Your perception checks were not able to determine the source what? of that, uh, of those flames. Uh, B, it is your turn. Sneaky no. arsonist. <laughs> Nobody, th- are these pe- things necessarily hostile to us at all? Uh, not, not yet. They, they consider you, so far, it might change a little bit, uh, for, for the two of these. As far as you're concerned on your behalf, you're just one of the villagers who want to get out of here. <laughs> um, there are plenty of villagers who are instantly looking for the nearest door, uh-huh. uh, see the flame begin to lick up and want out. Uh, and they're not seemingly, like, attacking anybody who wants to leave right now. Uh-huh. But they will clearly want something. Uh, yeah. They want okay. something. Uh-huh. Whether you know what that is, yeah. Okay, and where did the wagon go? Uh, 30 feet directly up. Just up? So it's, it's pretty much in the centre really of the room. Is it heading to the to a specific area or not? Uh, yes, it is heading to the second floor, but what on the second floor is not mm-hmm. particularly. That's where they went earlier. Uh, just Jasper went earlier. Yeah, and I know that. Uh, you, you know that, you saw that because you were asked to... I pointed up to, and I was like, if anyone yeah, falls from there... Yeah, someone's falling Jasper, yeah. Okay, um, can I shout to Jasper? Um, and just be like, uh... What's up, up there? What's going? What's? Oh, there's something special up there. I think, actually. What? What? The books. cheeky books. Remember? Secrets. Do I know anything about wyverns or why they would want books? <laughs> wyverns uh, make a uh, make a wyverns canonically a history check for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see if there's any relationship between yeah, books and wyverns. That's like the oh, raven in the writing desk. Um, <laughs> Whoa. Three. Uh, yeah, the Carlos has been raven in a writing desk. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can't find it. <laughs> you, okay. you don't know. And do I? Cool. I'm getting negative vibes from the like from the wyvern. I want to stop it, or I just want to leave. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, you okay. could Does well. Does it seem evil? <laughs> <laughs> Your general ability to, to sense vibes gets the sense that this isn't a positive experience okay. happening right now. Nobody's nobody's happy about this. Uh, and if anything, the, the, the setting fire to the books bit was was probably pretty rough. Uh-huh. You, you understand the value of kind of knowledge and, and art and collection and yeah, and okay. the fact that this they're just burning books is is kind of sus. Is it <laughs> sixty feet in the air? Uh, it is no, it is only thirty feet in the air. It's thirty feet in the air. Okay. Um. I'm gonna cast suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> um, and be like, "Hello, you, you up there? Uh, do you want to stop looking for whatever you're looking for?" Do you, Do you pose it as a Do you want to? I'd like you to. Okay. Sure. But just I'm posing it in a non-aggressive. You know, we're besties. No worries. Um, I'm I'm very, I'm clearly also very anxious. Mm-hmm. I'm like shaking. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. So, I think somebody somebody yeah, they... correct me in chat, but they don't get advantage on that, right? Suggestion, uh, it's just straight. Uh, just uh, uh, unless you've hit them or something, isn't that? It's if your if your companions or you attack person. it, uh, it drops automatically, I'm pretty sure. Or they get to re- redo the save. I don't think so. No worries. Uh, um, it's an eight then. Okay, I'm assuming that fails. Yep, minus one is thirteen. Um, cool. So it must pursue the course of action I described to the best of its ability. And uh, stop doing what it's doing is your course of action? Yeah, I should have said something better, but so I'm, <laughs> I'm clearly stressed, you know? No worries. Cool. Uh, yeah, seems seems to have worked. Okay. Um, bonus action. Um, I'll give five inspiration to um, Jasper. Um, so I will... Uh, <laughs> How far away are you? Uh, uh, yeah, about ten, 10 feet in front of you. Okay. Um, so far, you're doing really good. Um, good job. Uh, and wow. Send like 
I'll play a little bit of ukulele in his hand and, and and like the music note kind of like comes out of the out of where the strings are reverberating and like starts to like uh, no. I, I thought those thank- I thought those squiggly things just stayed on the page as usually. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, and then for my movement, mm-hmm. um, is there anywhere within the twenty five feet of feet of me where I could get the cop on? Uh, yeah, there are. There are desks. Uh, there's a big crate uh, in the room uh-huh. uh, that is kind of uh, the the packing ups of some uh, of some kind of stall mm-hmm. of some kind, but it's just been pushed into the corner of the room uh, that you can absolutely get behind. Yep, maybe I, behind the crate. Cool. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You really jam yourself into the corner I'm behind the crate. Feet. Only 25. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can get cover from one half of the room. Uh, the other half might be able to see either. Okay, that's alright. Um, you are you are pretty much the furthest, closest to the exit. So you, you may just you made your way out a good kind of amount of time. You uh, you wheeled over to the exit. You put yourself behind the cover, uh, and you immediately start to see the flood <laughs> of people begin to run uh, out of um, out of their positions. Um, uh, are the workers going to stay in here? No, they're not. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Occupational health and safety doesn't cover wyverns. 5, 10, 15, no, 20. No. Uh, one kind of gets jammed behind you as you're kind of uh, are like holding up the corner behind the crate and trying to like run past you and <laughs> gets jammed just in, in front of you. Um, we have some people run around the sides. Hmm. Yeah, no worries. People are generally able to start moving towards the exit, but it is not uh, easy to do so. There is plenty going on, uh, and plenty of people who are not heading towards the exits so that make it a little bit tricky. Uh, as you see, the two two individuals who are kind of standing towards the back of the crowd uh, push themselves a little bit forward. Um, I believe one is the um, is the receded hairline individual who did a little bit of poetry oh, earlier in the evening. Uh, a member of My the least favorite poem. Uh, <laughs> a member of the neighborhood watch. Um, who runs forward, pushes past the incoming crowd. Um, uh, and they're gonna head over to these to these guys on the side. One can make it, uh, one can dash and make it, but won't actually be able to have his turn. Uh, and just try to kind of like tackle them, just tackle them to the floor, stop them from destroying their books. Um, Fair enough. That is going to be uh, a failure. Did they? Uh, he, he dives. Uh, full on kind of rugby, might have played a bit of rugby in his youth, but is a little bit old for it now, and his back kind of twinges as he leaps and just falls to the floor to the side, uh, and kind of doesn't have enough movement to pick himself back up, so is is prone. Could he have got an advantage from flanking with the other man? Uh, no, they're, they're going for two separate individuals. Damn it. No worries, though. Um, they're just trying to restrain these, these crazy people coming in and sealing their books. Um, Clove... Uh, I don't know, let's see. Clove does successfully kind of pop the lock uh, on this turn, uh, slams the door open, uh, hides behind it, slams it closed, uh, and you hear some jostling coming from there, from that side as well. Wait, what are reactions again? (laughs) What are reactions? Could any reaction I could do stop Clove from closing that door? Um, I would... Not at level one, maybe. Level three, level three. Level three? Um, I highly doubt it. You can level up, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go play level I can play one. level one as well. <laughs> uh, which brings us back to Tori's turn. Woo! Um, does this count as a beast? Uh, this wyvern? Mm. 30 feet up. Mm. Uh, it is not a beast. Fair enough. Yep, I won't do that then. Um, I'm going to drop rage because I'll cast a spell and it's 30 feet up, so I'm going to thorn whip. Thorn whip? Um, out of my, the bandages aren't doing much work now. As like <laughs> large thorns and vines just mm-hmm. like start to appear from underneath, and they're covered in spikes. And I kind of throw my arm up, drop my warhammer to the side, and just launch it up at the wife. And I'm like, you're too far away. <laughs> <laughs> and I will thorn whip that one. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, the, these these ropey kind of thorned vines swing out, kind of wind up through the air. Uh, and try to attack it. Is it a um, roll or It's a, a melee one? spell attack. Make that roll. And I can't do a reckless because... Whoa. <laughs> that just flew out. Nope, that's going to be a three plus something won't hit. 
37. Seven will not hit, unfortunately. Uh, the vines do kind of connect with the body, uh, but it, its feet kind of like lash and kick at, uh, kick I'll just at the vines. I'll the toes a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and then I will, well, I, it, bonus action to drop rage, so I can't rage again. No, so. it's, it's not a bonus action to drop rage. Uh, just w- when you cast When I cast the drops, I will bonus action rage again in case it. Sure. And start to focus my attention on these other guys, I guess, because it's too far up. And I'll, <laughs> I'll bonus action rage again and, and run over to these cultists. No worries. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you see that the, you see the two that are over, um, being attempted to be dealt with by the neighborhood watch. Uh, you make five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yep, you can make it over here. Uh, there is one pro neighborhood watch person beside you. But you do, you can get within melee of, of one of the people. I'll try and get in the way of the pro one, I guess. Sure. Can I get in between or something? Uh, not in between, but okay, you I'll definitely just, look a little bit more threatening there. than the guy yeah. on the floor. Cool. <laughs> uh, no worries. Uh, it is their turn. Um, they claw at the books, uh, and in fact, the one in front of you, Tori, mm. uh, you see. Um, what is this? I rolled this. Okay, it's a four. Uh, you see, takes a little bit of kind of uh, damage uh, upon their fingers uh, as they're kind of clawing into these books, um, and as the you see, like nails start to kind of protrude out of their hands, long, oh. uh, long claws, um, and as they take a little bit of damage, as blood kind of trickles down their hands, uh, their hand ignites <laughs> into flame uh, oh. as they are grabbing books with burning hands, don't, uh, and beginning to beginning to alight this bookshelf as well. Uh, they're going to make one round of attacks on this bookshelf. How are the picture books? Uh, one manages to connect pretty pretty well, uh, and that is going to be... Not tons, uh, but you can see that the, that the bookshelf does begin to kind of catch a light a little bit. It doesn't burn up and, and go up in flames uh, in, immediately, but it's beginning to catch a light. Oh, uh, I up- think I think Tori sees the fire and is like a bit taken aback. <laughs> <laughs> like getting up close, didn't think about um, the fact that live fire and hasn't been around such mm-hmm. a large amount in a while and is a little bit more hesitant. Sure. Going forward. Um, the the other one, however, uh, turns its focus from the bookshelf. Uh, and begins to run over towards where uh, Clove slammed the door. Was I close enough? Uh, were you close enough? To Schmack? Um, uh, they you were not, actually. They Damn have it. half speed? Ah, uh, true, they do. So it only gets... Uh, the first 10 feet is half movement. Um, so it takes 20 feet to get there. Yeah. So it can't get all the way out. Sorry. I was moving close, not... Yeah. So it doesn't actually get all the way over to the door. Uh, it's slowed down a little bit. So the clove is safely out of um, out of the way. The guards don't get to smack him? The guard does. Well yes. done. The guard totally does yes. have the opportunity to give this guy a bit of a bonk and, and is successful in giving him a bonk. Ooh, yes. an extra d4. An extra d4. Brilliant. I roll. Tanking hairline. This one because it's pointy. Okay. An extra three necrotic damage. Three. Um, necrotic. Brilliant. Yeah. That, that does kind of add up there. Um, and B, you're the only one left to kind of see this as you've hidden behind the crate. Uh, but there is another cultist on the other side of the room uh, who is also beginning to tear books out of the shelves. Um, and is, is pretty... Uh, I would say has kind of thrown this bookshelf to the ground. It's kind of just like gotten his fingers far enough into it to just toss it to the ground. Uh, and is now kind of moving on to the next bookshelf. So, so strange. Why not just burn or toss? Why both? <laughs> <laughs> um, only one has only one has ignited so far. Jasper. It's too weird. Jasper. That's me. Um, that is. It. So. New character. Um, New character who dis. The Wyvern is still in Moonbeam, is that correct? It is still in Moonbeam, yeah. Um, so it's just when it starts its turn, when the creatures enter the... starts its turn. Yeah, Yes, Again. cool. Um, Last time I got stung by, <laughs> by trying to run away from a Moonbeam. 
Embrace the moon base. Embrace the moon. <laughs> yeah, just accept your fate. Um, I would like to. Um, so if I were mm -hmm. to wild shape yeah. into a panther, mm -hmm. it has a climb speed of forty feet. A panther. Yes. Yeah, brilliant. So does that mean I could like climb up the tree and leap onto the balcony? <gasps> Uh, I will totally, I'll totally allow it to involve, it will involve an athletics check to make that jump. That's epic. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely, uh, like a cougar kind of just begin to run up the side of this tree. Yeah. Like I've watched, um, Jungle Book. Yeah. That panther's in the tree. <laughs> Balgura. Okay. <laughs> Balgura? No, it's not Balgura. <laughs> that's a... What, it's something close to that, isn't it? It is. Uh, there's, I mean, there's Baloo. Is that no, that's thing? the bear. That's the bear. Yeah. Anyway. Um, not okay. Not Jungle Book lore, apparently. So. Really not D&D lore. <laughs> um, because Moonbeam's still up. I can still concentrate on that while I'm in wild shape, right? You absolutely can. Cool. Um, <laughs> do I want to keep going for this guy? Yeah, we'll leave the Moonbeam where it is for now. Um, I am going to... Um, Shira? All of this stuff is, like, on my Shira. hands now from the Moonbeam. Hmm. I, like... Um, wipe it on my shaven head my <gasps> slick hair i wipe it on my head slick. and um as i like lean back suddenly like like you the sound of bones breaking oh. and i flip forward and am a panther but wow. not a normal panther i kind of have like i didn't get that Could you try again? <laughs> excuse me <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> that's understand when you uh, when you're turning into a panther. When you go into a different um, kind of panther, it's got like bony protrusions coming out of like its shoulders and stuff, and the outside, if this is allowed, mm -hmm. um, an extra you set see of ribs. A gold rib cage on the outside. Sure, I will allow it to have an extra set of ribs. Uh, it does nothing for defense, so it's fine. It actually does. <laughs> a plus two to my AC. Mechanically, Take it that. does. Oh my god. Take uh, that. Brilliant, I love that. Um, yeah, okay, so it's going to be the first 10 feet of your movement to get up to the tree. Um, so it's going to be, I will say that you can get up to the I have a tree. speed of 50 feet and a climb speed of 40 feet. Brilliant. So, okay, so you've spent 10 feet of your movement uh, you're now a panther, um, you have, uh, 30 feet left of climb speed, hey? Yeah. Um, oh, if you, you, you would have tech and then run to the tree. Yeah, oh, so yeah, yeah, so you can make the whole jump. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, fantastic. <laughs> Give me an, uh, an athletics check with this, with this panther, this cougar, to see if you can make the leap to the upper, upper balcony. Um, anything for athletics. I just add the dexterity, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, your panther. You have that thing that you did before, right? <laughs> Do you know that you just said it? Yeah, I wanted to do. I rolled a 11. Okay, um. Total. Pretty good. Seeing you be a panther and, and, and be jumping and doing a bad job at the jumping, <laughs> um, I like reach out and click, and the note above your head like explodes. Um, so roll, I'll roll it actually. You get advantage on your attack check. Yeah. Two. Yeah, six. That's a five. Nice. Ooh. Sorry, you get to add five. Just get 16. to add five. Sixteen. Sixteen. Brilliant. Uh, you totally make that leap then. Um, yeah. To, uh, to the left or to the right? Um, to the left or to the right side of the message. Mm. Mm. Which way does it look like the wyvern's going? You can't tell yet. I can't tell yet. Mm. Um. You were you were up on the left side previously. And did it, did it look interesting before, or did the right you, side look better? You remember not um, you, not knowing what to search for. There was obviously a lot of stuff there, uh, and you didn't you weren't sure what to search for. <laughs> I'm going for the right side. Right side, different side. Woo! Jump up, brilliant. Um, well done. That's the end of your turn, yeah. Um, yeah. What is it? An action to wild shape? It is an action to go into wild shape. Yes. Cool. Cool. And my AC, is it my AC or is it the Panther's AC? It's the Panther's AC with a plus two. Cool. That's all then. Brilliant. Me. Those ribs. <laughs> those those, those ribs, ribs really come in. Um, uh, it is the Wyvern's turn, uh, who does swing to the right. Uh, <laughs> it is going to swing up to you, fly across. Uh, oh, it takes, it t has to make a constitution saving throw. At the side of his turn? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, Suge I, oh, suggestion. 
But uh, it also got attacked by Moonbeam, so I don't know what happened. Um, Stop what you're doing. Doesn't say anything in spell about attacks. No. So it just uh, still you, has to be following the thing unless I was drop concentration. If you or any of your companions are damaged to the target, the spell ends. Where? At the very bottom of suggestion. Is the spell card lying to you? It doesn't say on the spell card. Oh, it doesn't say on the spell card? I'm sorry. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, it does drop. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, uh, but it has taken damage from, from one of your companions. Uh, the, the best I'll give it, actually. I'm going to give it... Uh, an insight check to see if it knows that you're affiliated with. Uh, I could be on its side. You could be on its side. For all it knows. Let's see. Um, Can gonna... I roll persuasion against it? Uh, I'll let you roll deception. That makes sense, I guess. Do you actually on its side? <laughs> We're just fighting against you now. Oof. Oh. Yeah. That's Oof. all right. <laughs> Twenty-two. Yeah. Yes. 16. 22. It, it does understand that it has taken damage and very instinctually in that fear uh, kind of shrugs off that uh, that suggestion effect um, as it uh, flies over to the other side. Seeing this panther, um, it will make an attack against this panther. But it has to make a constitution saving throw. Because uh, it starts it t- its yeah, turn it in the movie. Yeah, it does. Uh, and that is going to be a 20. Oh, I guess Whoa. it succeeds. But it still takes four damage. Four damage. Radiant, uh, radiant damage. Yeah. You guys are definitely hurting it. Like, you're definitely... This isn't in vain. It is Good. glowing up. And all of, the radi- all of the damage so far has been radiant. It is just kind of glowing uh, in these kind of white um, and golden kind of rays kind of bursting up its veins begin to kind of glow that white and, and radiant light uh, underneath its skin. It is going to make an attack against you, uh, Jasper. Which is going to be a 21 to hit. Yeah, even with the rib cage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even with the rib cage. Even with the rib cage, eh? So this is going to be... 10 points of piercing damage. Ouch. Sorry, slashing damage. Ouch. Uh, as it swipes you with its claws. Ouch. Um, and I have well, to make so a constitution saving through. Take off thing first? Uh, yeah, so you take off, you take damage. Oh, your first, your, your uh, beast takes damage first. And do I roll the hit points or do I just use 13? Just use 13. Cool. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and can I please have a uh, concentration check? On yes, you can. Bah. Uh, like 17 plus my modifier. Sure. Sure. Um... Actually, I remember something about Moonbeam. Can you read me the bit in Moonbeam that talks about uh, shape-shifting creatures? Mm. Uh, um, da, da, da. Specifics on Moonbeam about... There is. Is shape um, Oh, it wasn't. Wait. It doesn't say anything on the spell card. It doesn't say anything on the spell card? R- really but we have learned spell cards are not to be trusted. Uh, <laughs> I'm burning <laughs> Sorry, what's it? <laughs> um, a shape change, it must make it saving throw with disadvantage. If it fails, it, it instantly reverts to its original form and can't assume a different form until it leaves the spell's life. So it would have it would have reverted that first time. Um, it does not revert at any time. The original uh, form is the one. But it does make its saving throw with disadvantage. So okay. we'll, we'll, we will call it a disadvantage from now on. From now on? Not, a, not for the start of the turn? From now on. No. This is something I remembered about the spell. This wasn't. This wasn't from your memory. This is my first time playing a spell it caster. Is yours. Oh, first time playing spell caster in, in at a hole. Just for that. Just what? for that. What? Okay. This no. It should work. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. Yeah. We are. I'm before. on your team. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll call it flat from now on. You get it. I'm just. I'm trying to be nice, but we have. And Tor is actually players. thirty feet tall. So. <laughs> 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 you may not have I don't time. make the rules. Uh, that is the end of its turn. Um, Excellent. Brilliant. Uh, I'm going to make another little... little. Hmm. Who is annoying? Uh, B is not... I've done nothing. Yeah, don't been, point at me. Nothing. I'm trying to be. Bit intimidating, I guess. Uh, that wasn't the, to you, audience. The cougar is definitely... <laughs> Cougar is definitely the, the biggest. person behind the camera. <laughs> um, you can cast it within six feet. Absolutely. It's simply not a cougar, but it keeps getting caught. Um, it is a it is a panther. Sorry. A um, bony panther. Brilliant. Panther. 
All right, I'm good. Uh, right next to you, uh, Jasper, um, a long kind of sword uh, whips oh. out of the air, kind of emblazoned with this fiery uh, light as it slashes into your side. It just appears. <laughs> I just yeeted that dice. <laughs> Just it appears like that dies out of nowhere. Um, it appears right next to you and immediately goes for an attack. Awesome. Sword cam. Uh, that is a 17. Uh, yeah, that hits. That hits. Uh, this is uh, a spiritual uh, weapon okay, appearing okay. right beside you and dealing four points of... Oh. Oh. Are you sure you don't want me to roll those 3d8 for my hit points? <laughs> I'm pretty sure like that takes... The three, and then you take one. Yeah, you're in the yeah. one of Okay, cool. I'm out of wild shape now. No worries. It got no you up there. No more cougar. Cool. <laughs> not a cougar anymore. <laughs> I feel like I, I, there's something about cougars being able to climb trees and panthers not. I, that, is that a thing I made up in my mind? It is, because panthers live in the jungle. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> not the thing in the jungle, though. <laughs> I thought that was a cougar. D&D <laughs> is based on the jungle book. Everyone knows it. Your terminology is talking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, brilliant. Um, I can take one point of damage. Please make a uh, concentration check. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Anything for the dungeon master. Aww. A natural one. A natural bum, one? Bum, bum. Uh, with a DC of 10, uh, the moonbeam <laughs> vanishes out. Just at the same time as you drop into your uh, Jasper's form, the moonbeam and the panther both vanish. You are back to square one, but up. An entire level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you're a panther, however, <laughs> <laughs> aren't they the same creature? I mean, I apologize, audience. I'm not a zoologist. Abby is. Whoa. Um, it's promoted. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, that is. Uh, uh, I'll, like, I'll have everybody make those perception checks again. Yeah. They're trying to be a bit sneaky about this. Well, tell them to stop. 15. 15. No, 14. Aww. I keep thinking I'm good at... I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm nearly 12. 12. I was the highest. 12? Uh, I win. Okay. With a 15, you do manage <gasps> to just catch... Uh, yeah, DC 15. Um, uh, there is somebody who is, uh, has begun to kind of stand up and turn around. Uh, and walk out with the rest of the uh, villagers, but seem to be walking out a little bit slower, kind of holding up the back of the pack, uh, trying to blend into that crowd. Uh, you see a hooded figure, uh, and you see just as they kind of like pull it over their uh, over their ear, there's a kind of a horn kind of pull, pushing out of its side, uh-huh. and kind of jagged uh, jagged ends. It's kind of a dark, sickly green skin underneath. Uh, kind of like a, an orangey tuft of hair that comes out um, as they kind of like pull the hood back over. Um, they're just wearing pretty nondescript hood. You know, they're, they're trying to be discreet here so they don't look like they've got any big insignias or marking on on them or anything, but they are walking out with the crowd. Does it look like they were casting or You that just they saw hate? them looking up to where Jasper was, uh, and that's kind of why they kind of like, uh, they like glanced up, suddenly made some incantations, and then they kind of like, Chuck their hood on and kept walking out. And that's it looks like they hate cougars as well. <laughs> it looks like they hate cougars. Excellent. Um, Good to know. Brilliant. Uh, they know no cougars there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing there aren't any, and there never were. <laughs> um, B, it is your turn. Um, I'm, I just want to know what's going on. I'm, I'm clearly very frustrated about the fact that I don't know what's going on. I'm still behind her. Yeah, and Great. she's trying to get out, and you're just kind of blocking her way. There's somebody... Can I move out of the way of the person who's trying to get you out? You can, you can, yeah, you can so kind I of... Can actually... No, I'll, I'll let you just do that. You just blindly okay, cool. get out of the way. <laughs> Good luck. Um, <laughs> is there any way I can figure out what people are looking for? Is yeah. There... Uh, this a free check uh, entirely. Make a... What, what kind of check would you like to make to, to decide this, to figure this out? Could it be a medicine or a persuasion check? Um, no. <laughs> Unless you can really sell me on Investigation is the next best thing. Uh, investigation definitely fits. You're kind of uh, looking around, seeing what they're pulling out of the walls, um, seeing if it's anything of importance. Um, <laughs> you can't say that on that. stream. Um, 12. 12? Uh, That's alright. Uh, you see that they are looking for something, although you can't see what they are looking for. Like, you, you, you do get the sense that they are... looking for something. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing they throw out of the of the walls seems to be of that much importance, and they're also randomly burning bookshelves. I don't know why. Don't know why. They don't seem to be successful thus far. Um, they seem to be unsuccessful thus far. Okay. Oh, the enemy doesn't seem enough to run away. Um, guess it's up there. Tories. The wyvern's attacking again. Mm-hmm. Um, you see, the wyvern is now becoming hostile. It was yeah. previously just flying up, but it, it did make an attack while okay. it was up there. Um, are any of the people looking for books close to each other? Sorry, I'm uh, visualizing. The two. They're no longer. They oh, were previously, okay. but they're so no everyone's longer separate. Close. They are all separate now. And how many are there? Uh, there are three people looking for books. One person suddenly trying to leave, who you do not clock. Mm-hmm. Um, and the wyvern up top. Okay. And the wyvern is how far away from me? Too far? Uh, the wyvern oh, would be okay. from you. Um, okay, let us see. Well, we can. Uh, I would say about 60 feet. Whoa. Like on, like on, that 60, so on that 60 feet. Say straight pipe. I'd say if we want to hit a 60 foot spell, that is possible. Um, We've got absolutely um, Pythagoras okay. theorem. Um, bring out my sketchbook um, and start like sketching the shape of the um, wyvern in like yellow. Fancy, I don't know. Not pen, paint. <laughs> ink. Um, ink, yeah. Yeah, yellow ink. Um, and as I sketch that, Hopefully. I'll start sketching to try and catch fairy fire. Sure. Um, but it has to make sense. Yeah. Thanks, uh, you, you draw what it would look like if it uh, if it got if splashed it with paint uh, and it's going to make a deck save. Uh, yes. Uh, that is a... Uh, 12 plus 0. That is a 12. Fails. Um, I think that currently can only be blue, green, or violet, so I'm violet ink. Um, so yeah, as, I, as I'm sketching around it, mm-hmm. as, as it's technically light, but like, yeah. you know, visuals, um, it's kind of like outlined as like glowing paint. Oh, awesome. Yeah, uh, as you're kind of drawing down on your sketchbook, uh, you glance up and you see the kind of paint uh, or ink kind of splashing across the form. As it occurs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, splashing across the form of the, uh, of the wyvern up top. Uh, Jasper in front of you as you're kind of like stumbling now back a little bit out of your pantho- uh, pantheform, I've got to correct this time. Uh, yeah, you see this kind of like, uh, it, it itself is a dark blue with kind of like purplish, dark purple wings, uh, but you see it just like brighten up. Uh, it, it turns from a very kind of like dark and grimy colour uh, to a very like, pleasant, <laughs> pleasant light indigo. Nice. Go, go, Pretty. Go. Got a good lighting setup. Pretty. Up. Yeah. Uh, is, so Jasper seems in trouble Uh You can't really see Jasper from okay, this. Okay, I can't see Jasper at all. They're down and, and okay. that, that kind of angle is just not working for you. Tori. You can't see Tori. Tori's okay. looking fine. Okay. Um, uh, well, gonna... emotionally. Not so much, if you can. I'm gonna, with my other hand, like strong on um, my ukulele, like this one's for you, Tori. Um, and the same, like what? Music <laughs> mode comes and starts cycling around her head. Oh, what's going on? on? <laughs> Rowan. Uh, I duck back down. <laughs> had a nightmare about this. I'll, I'll move to the other side of the crate. Yeah. Yeah, you can get full full cover from everybody in this room. Sick. Right. Um. That leads us to the rest of the villagers trying to make their way out. Woo! They are on their way. So you can make it out. And then a couple more make it to the exit. Um, These are the slowest villagers I've ever met. Um, they were sitting too long watching spoken word poetry and their legs got a bit numb. Okay, and I. They're trying to get I, out of my car. You're a villager, you're my other dude. So. Gotta wait for the feeling to get back in when we got the tingles. <laughs> but yeah, they're not. They are making haste, but there's a lot of them, so they're kind of like shoving past each other. Um, but the room is kind of clearing out, and you do see there are the only some people left in this room, uh, you guys included. Uh, and as everybody leaves, they clock that. They see who is staying and who is going. Uh, and they're glancing around to see who, yeah, to, who is still here. Should I say, should I go okay. <laughs> um, uh, It is the uh, neighborhood watcher's turn. One of them picks himself back up. Uh, so resilient. Yeah. Finally. Uh, this, is, this, is the, this is the older gentleman. This is the, the, the guy with a bit of a receding hairline. I was on the floor, he's kind of picked himself back out. He looks at you kind of about uh, to attack and uh, sees you doing that and kind of like shuffles around to a bit of flanking position. Uh, he knows some. He knows some military tactic. Uh, he stands there. Um, he picks out a, like pulls out a baton from his side. 
um, that, that he had just in case. Um, and doesn't use it and goes for another grapple. Oh my god. You really need a hug, huh? <laughs> uh, that one's pretty good though. Let's see how the um, let's see how the cultists go. Does manage to grab this guy uh, and do, does manage to grapple him. He's like, oh, I, I got him. I, I've got him for you. He's holding him. He's looking looking chuffed as he's holding his holding his arms down towards you. Um, that is their turn. The other guy's gonna chase. Gonna make chase on the on old man. Uh, and because he's running away, he isn't going to try and grapple, he's just going to try and like club him in the back of the knee. One of those awful, awful hits to kind of jelly leg, uh, but misses. <laughs> uh, slams his club down and just whiffs entirely as the as the creature is running away. Uh, which brings us back to Clove, who is out of sight, out of mind. Um, uh, Tori. How could you forget about Clove? Out of mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, well... Is it a very convenient position for a good old smacking? <laughs> I'm gonna try not to hit the receding airline behind and uh, just go, I guess, for the ribs. Yeah. There's no second layer, so they're really just easy to hit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no second set of ribs. This I'm guy's just gonna vulnerable. Um, lift up and be like, look, I'm sorry, but I need this knowledge, and you're just destroying it all. And I'll just smash him right into the ribs there. Awesome. Um, and do I have advantage? You do have advantage. You Excellent. Advantage. I won't get reckless in, and I'm just going to smack. Oh my goodness. They'll have a low AC. 12. 12? Yeah, it's just misses. Oh my goodness, indeed. <sighs> Can't do anything With about advantage. that. With advantage, that's rough. Maybe that is, rough. it is very rough. Uh, mm, 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 oh, mm, mm. yeah. The, the um, <laughs> note bus and thunder starts to like. Whoa! Um, That's thunder. <laughs> yeah. It was like 13 wrestles. 13 was the, was the AC. Um, yeah! So you make the attack, and then... Um, the thunder knocks it back into the place <laughs> of where it was going to go. Like, whoa! Yeah, you, you, like, you like, whiff, like, burst thunder just in front of the hammer and just yeah. hits him on the back swing. Um, how many creatures are within five feet of it? Uh, are any of them hostile? Uh, yeah, they're all hostile. No, no hostiles. That's me and the other guy. Um, Ooh! Well, I, think I guess so. And an additional three thunder damage. And an additional D4 of necrotic. And oh, I'm going to pump a divine fury. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that's a 10. So um, that is 15 bludgeoning. 15 bludgeoning? Three, three thunder. thunder. One necrotic. Whoa. And is he down? Uh, no. 15, three, and one. So 19. Th- four <laughs> radiant. <laughs> four radiant. Still Jeez. not down? Uh, no he's Bomber. not, but his day got immediately ruined. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a really bad day now. He was doing pretty he's fine. Not bad, but he is not sad. <laughs> <laughs> he's not happy with you guys. One attack, that was, that was, like, massive. And then I'm going to shout out, watch out for that one, pointing to the one with the horn. And mm-hmm. be like, he's mad suspicious. <laughs> Cool. I will. I will say that does alert you guys to, to yeah. who indeed. Me, yeah, bad th- th- There's one who is now mad, suspicious, and spellcasty. There, there is now one who is behind the pack. The rest has kind of left, and they cut because of turn initiative so. and how kind of combat works. But it is left in the room as everybody else has left. They're kind of just standing there, uh, waiting to head out as well. Think my. Um, think really, Tori's your. That's the end of your turn. Yep. Uh, this guy is n- not having oh. a good time. Uh, he's going to kind of like slash out uh, with claws out uh, in front of you. His hood is kind of pulled back at this point. You can see a little bit more. Um, it isn't like a lichen transformation by any means. It's just parts of a kind of furred and clawed. Um, can I tell what beast maybe that uh, turning into? Yeah, I'll let you make a nature check on if this is related to, to any specific I get advantage beast. as a beast watcher. You do. we Wow, a three and a four, huh? A three, a four. three and a four. So that's gonna be less than ten, whatever less it is. Uh, yeah, fur and claws. That's like most six. of <laughs> most of everything. Uh, it's a six. Some kind of predator. That's Great, fantastic. So um, brilliant. Uh, Maybe but, a cougar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> might be part That's cougar. why they hate oh, cougars. <laughs> they don't want to look themselves in the face. <laughs> Uh, it is going to kind of swipe out with its claws against you. Uh, only an eight to hit. Nope. Um, and then it's going to... Ribs are really sore. Go sore. again. 
Are uh, these disadvantaged because grappled? Uh, grappled no. is uh, not, never mind. Not, not disadvantage, unfortunately. Um, makes two attacks and both of them miss kind never of mind. out of his claws, kind Does of swiping out against you. Uh, you see the kind of claws have like licks of fire across them as well. Whoa. Um, but now it is not able to attack the bookshelf. That bookshelf didn't seem to continue catching the flame. Uh, seemed to have kind of, uh, died out hmm. uh, as it's no longer kind of focusing its attacks on that bookshelf. Um, the others, however, make it to the door, gets an attack of opportunity on him, uh, which misses. Uh, and he's kind of at the door that Clove kind of ran out. Um, and I'm going to just straight up try and tear this door down. Are they he, still in the the forty foot? No, he's he's not in the he's not in the um, not in the deadlands. The blighted land, defiled ground. It's a twenty foot. Uh, okay, so it makes one attack that hits and a second attack that hits. Um, it's just going to try and carve into this door and see if it can open it with force. Bad roll. And tried it. Decent Doesn't roll. Work. Uh, hasn't gone through the door, but you can see has kind of shredded out the center section of this door. Not enough to kind of go through, uh, but enough that can kind of reach a hand through uh, through the door. It's kind of a wooden door, and it just kind of like punched the hands through um, and clawed the way out. Uh, the other guys, uh, this side of the kind of uh, the the right side. So you're on the top of the right side mezzanine. The right side of this room is, is looking rough. Kind of flames are looking out of one corner. One bookshelf has been kind of torn down to the ground. He's now kind of working on tearing the other bookshelf down to the ground. Uh, you guys are managing to keep control of the side that Tori's on, uh, but this other side is looking a little bit worse for wear at the moment. Um, Uh-oh. It is going to try and get through another bookshelf. Uh, and does manage to topple another bookshelf. Um, and you can see, continues to go. Keeps pushing through, keeps walking, working on other bookshelves, is just seemingly trying to uh, throw stuff out. There are little pauses where it kind of flicks through and reads, but kind of tosses it behind, and is just in this like frenzied rage trying to pull out uh, these books and topple these bookshelves. Uh, but that is all of their turn. Um, Jasper? Yeah. Um, do 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 do. Um, so, where are the two things that were attacking me? Uh, the two things that are attacking the you. The sword. The sword is just to your side. I'll place it out on the map. Um, I'll say it's just behind you to make it, it fit in the room. Uh, <laughs> a large, a large sword has appeared behind you to carve into your back. Yeah. Uh, and then, as you're kind of on your knees, uh, crawling up, uh, getting out of a kind of uh, cougar form, uh, the the wyvern is kind of facing facing the front of you. Cool. Um, yeah, that's gonna be rough. I'm still gonna do it though. Um, I'm gonna cast. No, I'm gonna move away from them. Uh, which way? You can try and run. There is room to run past the wyvern uh, towards the kind of gated, locked, uh, locked bookshelf area, or you can yeah. turn around and, and run back towards where the stairs are. Gated, locked area is where I'm running. Run past. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You get to it. You're still within ten feet of the wyvern, but have kind of run past him. Um, I'm gonna cast Moonbeam between <laughs> the two. Doesn't work once. Things. It do it again. Uh, between uh, between the spiritual weapon and the uh, and the <gasps> weapon. In front of me. Yeah. Like. Yeah. No. Yeah. We'll get both of them. Yeah. Sure. Brilliant. Uh, uh, blasts down again. So they make um, dexterity saving, constitution saving throws. Mm -hmm. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. Uh. Pair of ones. Nice. Ooh, two natty oneies. Two natty oneies. What am I going to do about that? Um, Probably get moon beamed. That means they can take double, right? Uh, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that's it's a 10 on the damage. Device. And brilliant. Uh, it blasts down. Uh, now that you're kind of face to face with this moonbeam activity, um, you don't see it reverting to its original form in any way, but you do see it. Uh, you know, it's almost kind of growing as as the moonbeam kind of slams into it. More of this wyvernous form is like pushing itself out, bulging uh, the places where the places where you're kind of slamming into muscle is like growing and tensing up. The veins are getting like stronger. Um, doesn't seem like it's actually aiding the creature in any way. It is it is hurting a lot, uh, but more of this wyvernous form seems to be trying to push itself out. That seems legit. Um... Does it look like it's getting stronger every turn, or is it just? Bulging, does just bulging. Does the sword take the Very damage? Very casually. Uh, does does the sword take the damage? Uh, no. 
swords don't take damage, unfortunately. Yeah. It would be it would be cool if it did. Spiritual um, weapons? But it's a spiritual weapon and they do not have hit points. Really? No. They just are a thing that exists. I should be a cleric. Spe- <laughs> <laughs> Can we switch classes real quick? <laughs> Wait, we'll be I mean, three I'll, clerics. I'll, I'll double check, but I've never known spiritual weapons to I'm have pretty sure no, I trust, I trust. Any, uh, look, <laughs> any DM. Yeah, anything, for, anything for the DM. Cool. Um, cool. And, um, yeah, uh, I guess for my, my bonus action, mm-hmm. can I move it if I can't see it? Just says it can be moved up to thirty feet yeah. as a bonus action. Yeah, it can. Um, the defile ground. Um, yeah. It's currently know. containing the the town guard, um, Tori, Me. and one of the cultists. Can I? Do I remember like kind of the layout of what was down there? Yeah, no. Can I move it to a better position? Uh, like is there's, it twenty there's foot no diameter. There's no position that it would be able to them. Okay, cool. Never mind. I won't move it. I guess. Sure. Um, yeah, I just waste my bonus action that is not the end of the world that's all good um uh end of end of jasper's turn uh this this wyvernous creature up the top um it's going to try and grapple you it's, it's going to move closer to me so it's going to move it's starting its turn in the moonbeam it right? is starting its turn in the moonbeam so it makes a con save at disadvantage yep um con save disadvantage uh, how much space did you leave between the moonbeam and the wyvern? Was the moonbeam directly in front of you, kind of holding the wyvern in, or was it kind of like on the wyvern and behind the wyvern? I think you said it was between. Yeah, if I, I said it was between the weapon and the yes, wyvern. Yes, of course it was. Yep, so it's on the other side of the wyvern. Yeah. He moves out of the moonbeam uh, to get to you, but does roll 15. To hit? So to oh, save. to save? Yeah. Yes. Cool. At disadvantage? Yep. Yeah. Takes, um,. Six damage half to three radiant. Uh, six damage half to three. Cool. Uh, brilliant. Uh, it does move out of it to get to you and is going to try and grapple at you. Uh, please make an athletics check for me. Does the Wyvern have a receding hairline? The Wyvern does not have a receding hairline. Yeah. Yes. Athletics check? Yep. Yeah. You're so strong. I am not strong at all. It's still a 19 on the dice though, so. Whoa! Total, 19? Yes. Uh, I rolled an after 20 on the dice. Uh, wow. With plus two, it picks you up. Wow. Uh, and is going to fly back out over the room. It's doing what? Though? It's flying back out. It's what? Over the room. It's doing It's, it's flying what? back what? out. Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I will be. Over the room. I'll catch you. Remember me when someone's falling. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Just> call it out. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna let it throw you this turn. It's just kind of hovering you, this hovering turn. you over the, hovering you over the thing. I'll, I'll make it make an attack. It's just taunting it you. If it wants to drop you, it's just kind of hanging up there, chilling with you, uh, seemingly trying to remove you from from where you were attempting to get. Um, but it's its turn though. Uh, it's it's pretty it's a pretty docile creature. It's not been doing much to harm you guys. And it's very pretty. Uh, and it is very pretty in its indigo. Um, uh, at this point, the spiritual weapon can't close distance with you uh, if you've moved too far away from the spiritual weapon. Epic. Um, so the spiritual weapon is just going to kind of chill up there, I guess. No worries. Um, as an action, however. Uh, this uh, this figure is going to try and hide behind a large crate in the corner of the room. My crate? Uh, <laughs> they're all a natural 20, um, and, it, and it kind of hides behind, ducks behind, feels totally obscured from the rest of the party, uh, and like looks down and beers right next to it. So they rolled natural 20 to hide, and then there's just someone next to it. <laughs> there's just somebody already in the hiding spot. I rolled like fire tonight, guys. Um, Can you stop, please? I rolled... At least two natural ones, maybe more. <laughs> uh, but they hide behind your crate. I will say that uh, they are hidden from the others, but but not at all from and you. I am not hidden from it either. Uh, you are not hidden from it. It just didn't know you were there because you were behind full cover. Good job. Um, you hid. Uh, B, it is immediately your turn as they appear right next to you. If this is a, neg- a, bad, a bad dude. Uh, this I is pointed. the person Tori described. Like, the person Tori they're was mad, like, oh, suspicious, and they're okay. casting spells. And they immediately they, they kind of heard that and kind of like picked up their pace and hid behind the nearest. Uh, the nearest object, which you happen to be behind. Okay. Um, as as they like 
like <laughs> hide behind where I am. I just like turn um, and cast this in whispers. Um, and the whisper is just me going, Run away, run away, run away, run away. Can I whisper? Right. Um, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom save. Uh, that was, uh, ooh. Ooh, they have a decent bonus to that. That's a 15. They do not run away, but they do. Oh. Uh, take nine psychic damage. Nine psychic but damage. they're still there. Um, they take nine psychic damage. They are still there. Uh, you can see as it kind of racks through their brain, um, they, uh, they kind of look, look panicked for a second, do kind of make eye contact with you, um, but as they kind of take a moment to worry about the damage you just dealt to it, they quickly kind of flick their eyes back up and reach out their hand uh, and hold towards the uh, towards the widen. Damn it! You break. Um, they you break the concentration. They choose to succeed their concentration on that oh, one. Oh, lame! Yep. Legendary. Um, and then. Um, but it's actually is Jasper within six feet of me? Jasper within six feet of you? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm like, but <laughs> 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 Um, you can get down from there. I believe in you. Whoa. Um, and. <laughs> Uh, a little musical note flutters around uh, with a with a nice I believe in you uh, that ends these turn, yes? Does your voice, like, when it explodes, does whatever you sing come out again? Like, really quickly, so it's like, I believe in you. I believe in you. Villagers are outy, hey? They're gone. The villagers have Finally. made it out of here successfully. Took a few rounds, nobody seemed to get in their way. They. They had a fine time escaping. Um, well done, the villagers. I'm proud of them. Yeah, good job, villagers. Yeah. Um, Some of you are good at poetry. Uh, the, 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 the neighborhood watchmen, however, are going to ch- keep trying to stop these guys. They seem in bad news. Uh, they're going to make one grapple attempt, uh, which is in that one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and he's still grappling this guy, so he doesn't need to grapple. He's going to bonk him in the head. I'm going to try and bonk Do this it. guy in the head. Um... With, adva- with advantage. His first roll with a nat one. Oof. I'm apparently rolling a coin Stop and not a. <laughs> yeah, it's 50 50. A uh, natural two. <laughs> <sighs> I rolled like four nat ones and like three nat 20s this session. Um, yeah. Uh, tries to like bonk in the head, but kind of like slams the slams the club down into his own thumb. And it's like. <laughs> 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 Uh, that is their turn, uh, bringing us back to Clove, who is, again, out of sight, out of mind. Who? Uh, who's that? Who's Clove? Actually, uh, they're not. Uh, you, oh, see, you see Clove um, has run up now. Jasper has, uh, has left the side, uh, has entered the side that you just left, uh, has keys out and is running towards um, one, of these, uh, one of these side nooks here. Um, yeah, they're, they're heading that way. And they see the spiritual weapon in front of them. Uh, Tori. <laughs> I'm just imagining a globe with their knife. <laughs> and just like the spiritual sword. <laughs> they've not even got their knife out. They're just, they're just keys at this point. They're just the key ring. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to smack this dude. Yeah. And it's at advantage. Yeah. So hopefully I hit it this time. Boop. At uh, 15? 15. Uh, yeah, that hits. Excellent. Boopity boop boop. Uh, that ear. Eleven bludgeoning. Eleven bludgeoning, yeah. Are they down? Uh, uh, this this has a divine smite in it as well. Hey? Well, I'm about to, and that's I rolled a six, so seven. They are indeed down. Uh, with with the rest of that, you have knocked this guy uh, unconscious, or is he dead? Oh, big question, big question. They are disrespecting history. Um, I am going to aim for the ankles <laughs> and just sweep them out from under their feet. You hear about too, too many cracks <laughs> <laughs> as you slam it against his feet. He hits the deck. The worst stub toe imaginable just right down into there and like 
it's like a second hesitation. It's like a boom of the radiant, <laughs> which is a, knocks him unconscious. Uh, they are they are well and truly down. Uh, brilliant. And then I will run to. I don't know where that guy is. Mr. Horns. So I will. Um, can I make it to the other side of the room where the other one tearing books is at? Um, you are in a. Oh, it's not difficult terrain for your allies, eh? Nope. Okay, so let us see. Let us see. I have 30 feet. You are dead on 30 feet. I run up to this person. Yep. And the like. One going for the door? I'm like. The wh- well, whoever was on the other side of the room. Oh, the one on the other I, side. I don't of know the room. where the one going. You can't make it to is. the other side of the room with thirty feet. Yeah, I don't know where the the other guy is because of um, hiding. There are a couple of different guys. There's the one hiding. Yes. Uh, there is oh, the one, one who's going, going to door. clove. Who's going to clove's door? I can make it to that you one. You can make it to that, one. that you one. You can't make it to the other side. Of the room. I'll leave the other. I'll leave. I'll leave the other arsonist. Who's having a very successful time, I knew. <laughs> yeah, distracting <laughs> themselves in the corner there. <laughs> And I run behind this person, I'm like, ah, that's what I tried last time. <laughs> You're doing better than I did, as I like hold the wall up. <laughs> and I am my turn. Yeah, you feel like you might have even weakened the door for him a little bit. <laughs> he's, had a, he's had a pretty easy time. Try coughing. <laughs> you've, you've had a pretty rough time with this. Yeah. Um, uh, it, is, it is their turn. Uh, yeah, they're not looking at you. They're going for that door, man. They want in. Uh, and they do kind of, as uh, they reach through, their arms are kind of already through the kind of uh, wood. You see kind of a little bit of blood, it looks gnarly, oh they just gosh. burst their hands through the door. Uh, and they reach around to the lock uh, and seemingly just like pull the door open uh, and manage to slam the door open. Sorry, can I make another check? Mm-hmm. Nature check. Uh, to what to what creature these yes. Yeah, go for it. Okay, way better. <laughs> way better. Um, that is... 18 plus... What is this? Intelligence? Uh, yeah, of course, intelligence. intelligence. Okay, so just 18. 18. Um, Proficient. The animals, the animals that these remind you of don't seem natural. Seem, seem very, very, very inhumane. Very, uh... N- like night stalker vibes. There's nothing. There's nothing in the natural world that these that these people remind you it's of. It's not like a beast. Uh, you are, you are confident that there is no uh, beast that these people are transforming into. They're just taking elements of the primal natures of the world. Um, cool. So I don't get any of the any of the facts. Uh, you don't get any big facts about these guys. They are not beasts. They are humans. Humans. Fair enough. I just stare at them really hard mm-hmm. as he goes through the door. Uh, with your, with that little bit of druidic nature, though, I would say you do recognise a little bit of it. Um, it seems like there is a there is a practice that some druids use uh, that you that you've seen used, and it's pretty uh, commonplace. Uh, if if druids were to get into kind of more of a, a physical scrap, uh, some might uh, be able to kind of on command grow sharp uh, sharp claws or sharp teeth. Animal uh, features. Yeah, yeah, gain these animal features in a, in a spell called Primal Savagery that seems adjacent, not exactly, but adjacent to what these guys are doing with your 18, I'll say. Fantastic. All right, he can continue doing whatever he's doing. Brilliant. Uh, he gets through the door. He runs through the door. I smack him. Uh, he gets two attacks of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. Ah, from, I... One from you and one from... Oh, the other person's uh, there as well? Yeah. Are, we, are there. we flanking? No. Damn not going to flank, unfortunately. Damn it. Whoa. The bars are happening. Um, that is 18. Uh, one hit from you and the other guy misses. Can this other guy just pick up the slack? What's They're go- trying. That's They're cock. just kind of people. <laughs> yeah, well, be better NPCs, I guess. Um, that is eight bludgeoning. Eight bludgeoning. And that's Wicked. all I can do on that. Yeah. Uh, he makes it through the door and begins to dash up the stairs. Wait! <laughs> Come back! I'm trying to like smack him on the shoulder as he goes through to try and like make that a bit sore. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, he's only about uh, ten feet up the stairs. <laughs> um, Jasper, it's your turn. You're being dangled over over the battlefield right now. Okay. Um, how far away are we from the balcony? How far away from you from the balcony right now? Um, you're like thirty feet from the balcony. Oof. Like, that's far, hey. Yeah, they like pull out right in the center of this room. Yeah. Um, You're a rough bro. If I were to say turn into like, well, armor, dude. a giant wolf spider, mm-hmm. could I like 
make my way around and like try to leap onto the balcony? Or is it too far? You can live onto the tree. Onto the tree and then yep. make my way towards you could, the... Uh, you would have to then do another kind of tree to yeah. uh, tree to balcony hop, but yeah. yes, uh, turning into something larger than he can hold would definitely release you. Is um, this larger than he can hold, is the question. Hmm? Where does it say the size? Medium. About the same mm. size as you, he might still have uh, he might still have you in his in his grippos. I want something that has a a, a speed. Put those grippers in it. <laughs> Got you in his grippers. Speed. The wyvern so has you in his uh, I mean, interesting thing about wyverns as well is they do have two feet, uh, but they don't have like front arms like dragons. Their arms are the wings. Uh, so it is the grippers. Yeah, so You're it is. You're officially really in the grippers right now. Hmm. If I would turn into a large beast, would it be able to still hold me? No, no, it would not. What is a pentagon? You see that it They're is... They're all kind of medium. It is itself not a large beast. It is a medium beast. <laughs> yes. Oh, a creature. Yeah, go for it. That sounds fantastic. Like um, yeah, but it doesn't have a climb speed. I love... No, I think this is a good idea. I don't. <laughs> if something doesn't have a climb speed, could I still land on the tree? So if I was maybe a draft. I will let you make a very hard acrobatics check. A draft horse. <laughs> Do you want to turn into a horse? In the <laughs> well, would it? It wouldn't be able to stand on the tree. It's got really grippy hooves. <laughs> <laughs> a horse's ability to climb a tree is very very minimal. well known as good. <laughs> uh, you know, seeing the classic horse in the tree. <laughs> Fine, I'm turning to the spider. You turn to the spider. Brilliant. I'm turning into the spider. Really small. If you're also too small for yeah, that small nah. would work as well. Nah. Like a small horse, a pony. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, 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 we'll do this. Yeah. Um, but before, wait, do I even want to get out of it? Mm, no, nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bite it. Really? Can I, can I just bite it? Turn into yeah. the wait. Oh, if you, I use my action to wild shape. Use your action to wild shape. Yes. Mm, uh, let me. No. I'll double check wild shape. I think it's only a bonus action for moon druids. I believe it's an action for everybody else. Yeah. So it would be your action to turn into it. And so I can't attack anymore? No, I not. Bear, but no. Awesome. That's right. Bear with us. First time playing a druid over here. Yeah. Because I'm playing a spell, spell up, caster, it, yeah. It eats up your hit points if you get dropped right now. And doesn't go into yours until you change back. It's yeah. kind of what you want to go for. <laughs> Pretty sure it's going to drop you. <laughs> Could uh, be wrong. What do you want to do now? What do you want to do? Um, so my, I've only got my bonus action left, right? Uh... If you sp you spend your action while jamming into a spider, you have yep. your bonus action left. Really gets okay. grossed down. And I can't escape spider. with my bonus action. No. Um, it's action. I will. I will. As oh. you shifted forms within, I I will let you as part of the wild shape attempt uh, attempt an escape here. You are yep. changing your entire physiology within its hands, yep. and its ability to hold on to you here might might slip. Very gracious. Very and gracious I use the. the... Am I doing athletics or acrobatics? Uh, this is an acrobat uh, athletics. Sorry. With dexterity? Uh, no, I meant acrobatics. Acrobatics. Cool. Um, so that's plus three. I'm really, what is going on? <laughs> I'm just plus reeling three. from the net one I roll. Oh, <laughs> I got 18. <laughs> yeah, you Yay. succeed. And can I jump onto the tree? You ju absolutely jump onto the tree. Uh, as you, yeah, your extra legs it doesn't know what to do with. <laughs> um, and you do kind of uh, jump onto the tree, jumping spider. Uh, it's Jasper, you're really freaking me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Such a bony spider, they're already gross enough. I'm moving my moon beam. Yep. Is uh, it, can I move it to the... Uh, your ability to move the moon beam is staged by your mind shape, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you can move it to one here. Cool, 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 cool. Um, uh, is it 20 feet, 30 feet, 60 feet? Or was the bonus action checking? not... Something crazy, huh? Was bonus action not getting out of it? Nah, I was just saying it was part, Whoa. Of, the, part of the transformation. Such gracious Robbie tonight. <laughs> I'm always what a treat this great. What audience. are you talking about? I'm all the time. Yes, <laughs> I'm always Rob, Robbie is always so gracious to us. <laughs> <laughs> Why right. does it not say it here? Um, that's all good. Uh, you can move it in. Roll the damage. We'll move on to it. Okay, cool. Make it cool. Um, constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Yeah. That was... Uh, okay, cool. That was quite a time. Um, it rolls... Uh, what, what is it? Deck save? A con. Was, con save? Oh, cool. Uh, 14. That is the save. DC. Then I succeed. Well, it still takes three necrotic damage. Radiant damage. It still takes three radiant damage. Three radiant damage. <laughs> cool. That's right. It's only been five rounds. <laughs> um, it is going to... Uh, uh, as it's kind of like... 
um, in this very, uh, very scared state, the spider just crawled out of its hands and is freaking out. Um, it's grippers. Uh, you see, uh, you've also battered it a lot. It is beginning to kind of bleed and, and, and yes? It's starting its turn. It is starting its turn. It has to make another constitution <laughs> saving throw. Ooh, yep. Wyvern, the Moonbeam. Eight. Yeah! Um, it fails, so it takes eight radiant damage. Eight radiant damage. Even more so, what I was describing, <laughs> but <laughs> it's even more damage. Uh, you see, um, it hasn't actually taken any physical attacks, but these bulging areas on it where the muscle seems to kind of like grown immensely in this short period of time uh, is, is growing to unhealthy extremes, almost beginning to like bulge. And you see, uh, as the start of this next turn, uh, across its long, long neck and into its kind of pectoral area, uh, one of these muscles grows so much and it bursts oh. uh, on its body. Oh. Um, which is awful. Oh, uh, disgusting. Kind of blood trickles down its Ooh, chest. I can't make that look pretty. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get kind of splattered with some of the blood and violet ink um, across your body. Um, it is looking kind of awful uh, while it's up here, but the radiant energy is coursing through all of its muscles, making it grow immensely while it's in this kind of you feel like it's contained within its body. It wants to become so much more and be so much more, but its size isn't allowing it. Um, uh, but it's up here, kind of like, wha- uh, flaps its wings and kind of pushes Gosh. back um, about 20 feet from you into the kind of center of the room and just... Uh, and, you, and that's out another kind of large screech. Oh um, my can everybody please make a wisdom saving throw? Yeah, I can. Oh, that's actually a rat. I wasn't expecting that one. Um, um, Fifteen. Um, Fifteen? Yeah. Succeed. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Succeed. Um, I rolled a natural eighteen, so... <laughs> you you all succeed. None of you are frightened by this creature. Nice. Uh, I'm but so it, I'm, Yeah. Uh, but you do see We're it enter... We're all not crying right uh, now. <laughs> you do see it enter its frenzied form. Uh, and that is where we'll take a break. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back with you in 15 minutes, uh, just as this battle kicks into its next uh, scary areas here. <laughs> um, we will we will see you in about 15 minutes. Uh, enjoy the break. Oh, wow. um, we'll come back with uh, some raffle stuff as your very last chance uh, to jump on uh, all that stuff. And <gasps> see you in a minute. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. guys to dnd live presents halos in the heart uh this is our second <laughs> session uh, of our 14 part uh series we're all so excited to have you all in chat uh with us yeah, hanging out with us uh, right. we just hit we just hit 70 followers and that is awesome uh for a second session that is yeah, uh, absolutely that's wicked. awesome uh, but let's keep that number going tell your friends uh tell your family tell your tell your lovers uh, anybody who can <laughs> Anybody who can get involved. Oh, yeah, uh, queer platonic partners. Queer platonic partners, brilliant. Uh, anybody Yikes. who can get here, bring them in, share the love. Uh, this has been absolute joy so far. Um, <laughs> Only lovers in the chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to pass over to M for some uh, exciting. Uh, we're going to draw the raffle. Woo! Yeah. I love raffles. Provided by Golden West Brewing Co., who are our venue. I for love Golden West Brewing Co. <laughs> for Peter Pan, our live show, which is on the 10th to the 13th of May, um, have provided a Basically a bunch of beers and a t-shirt. Um, I love t-shirts. And okay, Emma. <laughs> Let's keep the bit going. I'm going to just... Anyone want to do a drum roll? <laughs> we have... That's what I wouldn't say. Brrrr. Brrrr. Matt, Matthew Perry. Yeah. Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry. Congratulations. Well done, Matthew Perry. A Perry. very funny guy. I'm very Matthew jealous. Matthew Perry is here. Get in contact with us and we will get the... Very jealous. I'm, I'm jealous. 
Yeah, really? I'm, I'm, I'm actually, Perry. I'm actually upset. Did you get an Uncle Ralph? Yes. Awesome. Uh, well, well done, Matthew Perry. Yes, get in contact with D and D Life Presents, uh, and we will uh, we will get your Golden West Brewing Co. Uh, gift basket to you. Um, but uh, me and my players are going to continue uh, this hectic little scuffle in the library. That's right. Matthew um, Perry will save us. <laughs> Matthew Perry may save you. Who knows? Um, Yes, uh, this wyvern, as it's been damaged, it's kind of bulging muscles, kind of now burst. It is scared and uh, and worried. It's kind of head, long neck is kind of whipping around the room trying to find targets. Um, it, is, it feels cornered, you can see, and as it lets out its large... Uh, you all shake off the fear effect, uh, and it continues its turn. Uh, uh Moving Upsetting. with a more uh, intensified speed, it is going to swipe Actually, you're you're hidden behind a crate, and you're all in a tree. Uh, it's going to kind of uh, dash down the Such entire fun. room uh, with its. Uh, I believe it's got enough movement speed on it. Does it go past me? Uh, no, it <sighs> circumvents the tree. Upsetting. Uh, yeah, with with 60, uh, 80 feet, uh, it manages to kind of fly all the way down, uh, climbing down into the corner of the room Bless you. Uh, where you are, Tori. Just as you're kind of reaching through the door with your warhammer. Uh, it jumps up behind you, it's long neck uh, protruding from it. Uh, it's going to kind of go in for a bite attack uh, on buddies. you. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> didn't like that. I didn't use a descriptor. <laughs> um, okay, this first uh, first attack on you is uh -huh. going to be uh -huh. a natural one. Uh, that's a miss. <laughs> Um, I was loving these uh, as it reaches out with its head, uh, you just kind of step to the side and its head goes through the door uh, and kind of slams that door shut and its head is kind of stuck with the Whoa! splintered wood. Uh, it has now kind of got its uh, wings like up against the door trying to pull its head out. <laughs> um, you see it like climbs up. Like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, like Winnie it's the Pooh. It's not helpful to me right now. <laughs> uh, it like climbs up. Uh, its long kind of winged arms are the ones with its front claws on. It kind of like pulls itself up a little bit. Um... <laughs> Uh, and just as it's like comedically pulling itself out, you uh, you see a large, long, uh, spiny tail uh, come out of nowhere and swing into towards you uh, as it's pulling itself out of the door, seeming just well, flailing right. around. It has a long, a long stinged tail. Cool. I like how you emphasize that stingered. That is a 15 to hit. That hits. That so hits. I no! Uh, and I hit it on the dot. Yeah, I didn't have any I extra ribs. That. Right. Yeah, I should have had more ribs. Should have had more ribs. All right, can I please have you make a uh, constitution saving oh, throw? Oh, no. Oh, that's not bad. Con saving mm -hmm. is pretty good. 16. 16 is a success. Yeah. Uh, so you take... Uh, you take 15 points of uh, piercing damage. Half, half to seven. Seven. Wow. Uh, and you take. Ooh, that's not so thick um, thick uh, 17 halved to uh, eight points of poison damage. Because uh, you, su you succeeded the save. <laughs> this stinger is scary as it slams into oh your body. God, no. uh, you feel it kind of pulse uh, and hit through your blood. Um, uh, but you kind of like force it back out of the wound as you grab the like stinger and shove it back out of your body. Uh, the poison isn't able to take to your bloodstream uh, properly. Uh, but that is a big, a big rough attack from that stinger. You, you know you don't want to be on the wrong side of that one. Well, you're a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm immune, immune to just, poison damage. Just, yeah. <laughs> you're, immune, you're not immune to poison damage. Cannon. <laughs> Cannon? No, it's not. <laughs> um, that is its turn, however. Oh, uh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, next to you, uh, this this uh, cultist is like reaching out uh, their hand, kind of drastically trying to regain control of the creature, um, as they've seemingly like lost concentration on that. Uh, next to you. Um, oh. Uh, they are. Uh, they are a little bit panicked at this moment. Uh, they see you. You are definitely getting in their way. Um, they're going to uh, try and shove you, but in doing so, uh, are going to cast Inflict Wounds. Oh. Uh, the battle turning sharply. Uh, um, that is, however, only a only a ten to hit. Weak. Uh, you see the kind of uh, 
uh, blackening fingers as they reach out and kind of push into your arm. Um, nothing seems to kind of take into your into your body as they kind of push and then push again. Uh, the necrotic damage doesn't, doesn't right. seem to sink in. Uh, they turn around with that and run further into the room. Closer. I'm advising for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they look at you. Um, can I make an opportunity? Yeah. Yeah. They, they push you uh, and they say. Curse you! We will find you once more when this blackened night ends. Uh, and runs out towards the middle of the room. Oh. Very um, intense. Oh. Slam poetry, um, am I right? Can I make an opportunity attack? I don't know quite, quite the rules on what I have in my, in my hand and whether I can use it or not. Um, playing your opportunity youth. attack, uh, you're currently... Oh, I can hit him, hit him with my wheels. You can hit him with my wheels. That's the best way to go. Absolutely. Hit him with my wheels. Yes. Um, Ooh, uh, we are using the wheelchair. combat wheelchair. Um, D and D five E supplement. Uh, yes. Excited to use this. So they they shove me um, as they like give up and run away. Like as I'm like kind of tilted back, I'm just like tilt back round and spin and like. <laughs> um, but with the wheelchair. With the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wheels kind of slide into the ankles. <laughs> Math 18 plus 5, I'm assuming. 23. Yeah, that hits, absolutely. Um, it's not 18 plus 5, that's a lie, but I'm assuming it is. Um, I don't know what that does. We're really after, we're after the ankle, this is ankle combat. Not spells. That's so wild. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight. Eight points of bludgeoning damage. damage. We're good. You conk them in the ankles uh, and they kind of limp the rest of their way as they, <laughs> as they yeah. run away from you. This is my, this is my great! There's an alcohol star, that's probably like half their hit points. <laughs> yeah, they're going down. Um, uh, don't know if we want oh, them I to lose. That Do we um, want them to lose control of the wyvern? I'll remember for future. Wyvern's pretty bad. They cannot. Um, that, is, um, that is their turn, uh, which brings us directly to your turn. B. So, so the... I feel like I've perhaps missed something. Is that they're doing something to the weapon? Uh, their thing. hands have been kind of like, not constantly, but occasionally, like reaching out towards the right, the, the wyvern. Uh, and you see there was panic in their eyes now that they've reached out this time, uh, and they sort of aren't connecting. Oh, uh, they they are no longer able. They're kind of reaching out drastically towards this wyvern. You're not entirely sure why, but you did see them previously in the combat when you last damaged them. Uh, they were very very panicked and trying to. Uh, reach so up to this wyvern. Okay. But I don't know necessarily what that relationship is. Uh, make an arcana check for me. Are they lovers? Uh, that's hey. a 20, 21. Yeah. That's a 20. yeah! You are indeed uh, a spellcaster who casts things that require concentration. Mm -hmm. uh, they were panicking, trying to maintain their concentration on this Some, wyvern. Something on the wyvern. Well, they on, are, it is the wyvern. I'm going for this. Not even a natty twenty could have given you that one. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, with a natty twenty, they're not the wyvern, okay. but they are. They are controlling the wyvern. Yeah. The wyvern. Right. Wyvern concentration. Control it better. Does falling me unconscious make you drop concentration? Yeah. Mhm. Mm I think he just did, didn't he? Did drop well, you, you, you get a sense right now that they have dropped concentration, which is why things have gone a little bit dicier right, all so of a sudden. Dicier. Like, well, we want to get concentration <laughs> back. <dice> Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Sorry, I didn't mean to drop the pen, audience. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> um, heard that. <laughs> Don't scream at me. Gonna, if you do, like, use lowercase and full the stops. <laughs> Uh, the Wyvern is going in for attacking with Tori. It, it is just okay. bludgeoned I'm me in my back. <laughs> the Brilliant. What's range of vicious um, mockery? 60 feet. 60 feet. You need to move in a little bit, but you oh, can yeah. you can get within 60 feet. And What's sick roast? What's the sick roast? Uh, I'm sure that is 60 feet. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, it is. Cool. Um, vicious mockery. I'm making a what save? Um, a wisdom. A wisdom save. What, what's what's the roast? Uh, I'll pray for you. Cool. Absolutely <laughs> brutal. Whoa. Um, Ouch. <laughs> they're all 13. Um, that is the save. That is the uh, save. They're religious. They're like that. Uh, <laughs> so <nasty>. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, someone knows this. Yeah. Um, they think just because I'm a vibe of yeah, like, I, I just have too, I just have too, my energy is too positive. It is <laughs> yeah. Um, is any help? 
Is that the sort of five touch? Uh, there are different. Uh, yes, help is someone who is within five feet of you. There are um, there are some alternatives to that along the way, but mm, anyone within five feet. anyone within five feet of you, uh, I would say you could have pivoted rather than going to the center of the room. You could have helped the uh, the receding hairline man uh, in his attempts to oh, actually the, the guy he's on is is on the floor right now. So he's unconscious. He's not really doing much right now. Smashed ankles. Okay, um, anyone doing damage? Yes. Um, <laughs> Bad damage. Just a bit of Yep. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, Excellent. Uh, maybe I should just not have a metal pen. Uh, six. Ooh, nice. Six points of healing. That's beautiful. Right. Uh, so villagers turn. They are running across the room. Five, ten, fifteen. Sorry, the the oh. neighborhood watch. Oh. Um, so fifteen, twenty. Is that one of the villagers? Yeah. Thirty. <laughs> We, we stand Minecraft. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's not going to pivot to attack with Wyvern. It's dangerous. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen. He can actually <laughs> circle around the desk and get on the other side of Tori uh, to get into that flanking position. <laughs> Making villager <laughs> Minecraft noises. Yeah. So we're just entertaining ourselves Minecraft. over here. Um, I'm up, up on the tree like... <laughs> uh, it's going to make an attack against the Wyvern. Uh, yeah, rolls a... 15. The villager is? Yep. And it hits. Get back! <laughs> the, he's, he's... Stabbed me in the chest. Yeah, he's, he's, he's helping out. Okay. He's in this. He's in this Did now. You sacrifice yourself, I <laughs> guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is going to be uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage to, uh, to the Wyvern. Oh my goodness. Uh, what about just send me? Who, after getting kind of whacked by, by this particular <laughs> villager, uh, dashes 20 feet directly up into the air. I smack it. Uh, it does not oh. provoke opportunity attacks with this movement. Well, that's really rude. Yeah, it is quite rude. Well, slippery little guy. Talk about <sighs> slippery inky little guy. <laughs> he is an inky little guy. Uh, that is their turn, mm. um, which brings us back to Clove, <laughs> um, who is at the top. Is, Come help us, please. <laughs> uh, now Clove is Clove is dashing into this room up here, um, up the top. Uh, and Tori's turn. <laughs> what are they doing? Um, okay. You see them very intent running towards these these locked rooms. I see. Huh. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, uh, what does fairy fire do again? Uh, advantage on attack. Didn't need to fight, but yeah, sure, brilliant. Oh, that hasn't mattered because I was yeah. yeah. Anyway, well. Um, I don't really want to drop rage again, so I can't thorn whip. I've also, what did we rule on the shillelagh? Do I need to use an action to no, recast? That is, that is, chill that it, is chill it. Yeah. I was keeping track just in case, but that's cool. Um, right, so there's a guy 10 feet up the stairs. Uh, yes, he's 10 feet up the stairs. I can't get around him and flank. No, no it's too far. up the stairs. I'll just run up the stairs and I can't exactly swing my warhammer, so I'll just j- <laughs> joust it into the lower back and try and just incapacitate him. Uh, yeah, your, your intention is to do damage to him? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. This is not a trick question. This, this, reckless. Reckless. this is not a trick question. Is it reckless? Wow, imagine rolling two fives. Do you have to? <laughs> I could just, yeah, I could just not. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, this uh, ten. Do I have a thingy? Mm, not currently. Damn it. I have one. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. I miss. You miss. Uh, you go up and you try to like just shove it into the back, and she kind of pushes him up the stairs a little bit more. No, uh, I'm not trying to help you. <laughs> he does like stumble forward, but he's still moving up the stairs. Get back here! But I'm within range in case he moves out. Uh, yes, you would definitely. Yeah. Cool, no you worries. An opportunity attack if you move um, can't do anything else, and yeah, that's it. Which he immediately does. He immediately moves out of your range. I go for the upper back this time. <laughs> 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 and um, my, my branches crack a bit more as like I've not quite been used to the withholding so much of the energy for mm-hmm. this long. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, it's not reckless anymore. It no. is reckless. Oh, it is still? It's until the side of your next turn, a taxi maker at advantage. Right, well, good. That's good. Wow. Wow. 14. 14? Uh, hits. Yeah! Excellent! Um, these dice, straight to jail. 
can I divine fury that one? Uh, you can divine fury. Excellent. That, one. Uh, that is eleven bludgeoning. Ooh. Reaction. I, you I wasn't can't sure. Can't divine fury that one. There's a okay. go. First one on your attack on your turn. That hits. First attack on is eleven bludgeoning. Eleven <laughs> bludgeoning. <laughs> eleven. Yes, please. No worries. Please. Yes, please. Damage him. <laughs> uh, he is damaged. Consider him damaged. Uh, he spends a full dash it. action to get up these stairs. Lame. Uh, You're yeah. so fast. I knew I should have aimed for the ankles. <laughs> uh, he is chasing up. He's chasing after Quove. He is behind, but he is on the pursuit of Quove. Uh, um, Jasper, your turn. You are up in the tree. Your little spider is up in the tree. Uh, he's about he's about a uh, ten feet jump away from you, uh, and the edges you can climb along the branches of a tree and about a ten feet jump. To the edges of the other side as well. Um, my first step is to use my bonus action to move Moonbeam onto the Wyvern. <coughs> uh, yeah, because you recast that. No worries. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, is it anybody, uh, anybody within the range? The is there someone underneath? There are two people underneath. There's Tori and. I'm in the stairwell now. You are in the stairwell. Um, Ten feet up. You're actually still in it, even in the stairwell. Whoa! Behind the underneath Moonbeam? the Wyvern. Yeah. Op. Uh, and there is well, there's I would say there's either Tori or there is one of the neighborhood watch. <laughs> <laughs> there's the horn guy, who's not hidden anymore. Uh, horn guy isn't hidden. He, they're in the center of the room, drastically trying like to like reach their hands out. Within like thirty, I would say is Moonbeam thirty feet. I feel like it would be thirty feet. Um, I can 60. check. Not to. Um, maybe. I believe it's something stupid. I believe it is something really high. Maybe sixty. Um. Five foot radius, 40 foot cylinder of height. This room is 40 feet high, so perfect range on that. Uh, action to move it 60 feet in any direction. Bonus action. Action. What? Bonus, bonus action to move to file ground. Oh, um, I'm so action. sorry. Oh, I'm right. so right. sorry. All good. I won't do that then. Ouch. Um, is anyone in Mo- Moonbeam right now? Um, the place you left Moonbeam... Uh, I think Clove. <sighs> Clove's a loose cannon, I mean, we could just well, say, if, take them out. Yeah, if, she's, <laughs> uh, Chloe, if, they, if they're in Moonbeam, then they... Yeah. yeah. Sure. Right. Just how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> they would have to make a con save. Yep. Um, like yeah, it doesn't say anything them. about choosing creatures. If yeah. they're in this area, yeah. they take damage. Close. Ah, uh, that counts. They save or uh, a clove is it's not a not a, not a shapeshifter <laughs> uh, and succeeds. Luckily, succeeds. So they take a total of five radiant damage. But not loving it, and they start their turn. They don't. They don't start their turn in the next turn because you were. They're now in the kind of very doorway that you were in when you cast it. So they just ran through it. So okay. they're not kind of going going to cool. retake damage from that. Um. So I will use my action mm-hmm. to and. Wyvern's there. The horn is like down there. Down, just underneath the tree. Underneath the tree. Mm-hmm. Uh. And then there is the other guy who's chasing, uh, who's chasing Clove, who will, who who will have to pass through the moonbeam if you leave with the moonbeam where it is. Cool. Um, I'm gonna use my action, my movement mm-hmm. to get onto. No, I'm gonna go down. Just no, go down to I'm going up to the balcony. I'm stopping whatever's happening up there. All right, then make a so athletic check to make that final ten foot jump so from, the, br- the, from the branches brain. of the tree to the balcony. Oh, um, using the dexterity of the spider. Yep. Um, that's a sixteen. Sixteen success. Yeah. Uh, you jump over from across the boughs of the uh, branch, uh, the branches of the of the tree. Uh, kind of lands, kind of skittering up. You miss it by a couple of feet, but your spider, so you climb the rest of the kind of Disgusting. feet up. Uh, the railing, um, and just as this kind of guy has reached to the top and is beginning to run at you, uh, you have the spiritual weapon behind you, and you have the guy incoming at you. Can I go and bite the guy? So yeah, you can close distance with him, absolutely, yeah. and you can bite him. Okay, so melee weapon attack. Mm. That. that is a 14 to hit. 14 hits. Yeah. Um, so 1d6 plus 1 piercing damage. Mm-hmm. And that is, so 5 piercing damage. Mm-hmm. And they must make a constitution 11 saving throw. Uh, 15. So they succeed. Um, half as much damage. So 2d6 poison damage halved. 
They take two poison damage. Two poison damage. Um, <laughs> da, da, da. Ooh, they're looking rough. They're looking rough. <laughs> it was the two poison that knocked him over. <laughs> 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 cool. I wasn't getting smashed in the back with a warhammer. It was a tiny spider bite. It's a big um, spider. It is a scary. It's a human-sized it's spider. Like it's like Minecraft. Minecraft. Yes, yeah, just like Minecraft. Um, DD space on Minecraft. Can I use my bonus action the jungle book. to move the defiled ground to where the horned? <laughs> yeah, center of the room. Ooh, straight yeah. center of the room. Absolutely. Cool. That is my turn. Brilliant. Um, uh, that is then the. Uh, wyvern's turn. Oh no. I'd rather. Uh, quick round of combat there. Cool. <laughs> um, the wyvern is going to. Uh, it can't. Uh, its head is kind of through the door, so its head can still reach out to you up the stairs. It flew away. Uh, it has. That's why I couldn't smack it. <laughs> or you bet I would have been smacking that long neck. Um, who does it want to attack? It's going to swoop somebody. Uh, it has its job. It's going to pick out whoever is. The lowest hit points around it, Whoa. which is currently why is it so smart? Uh, <laughs> what is your what is your current HP? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. You are the lowest are hit points in its vicinity. I'm 29. yeah. Mine are also twenty nine. <laughs> You're all at twenty nine right now. Oh, I think I'm less. I think I'm twenty eight. Oh, I'm at full and I'm at twenty nine. Right, my uh, full my full is twenty nine. My current is twenty eight. Right, so oh wait, no, it's, my, it's less than that. What about because I'm a spider? It's actually eleven. Oh, uh, it's going for the going for the spider. Yeah, I don't know uh, why you just sacrificed. It flies up over the tank. The spider. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that. It's a good song. I absolutely yeah. appreciate that. Uh, it's just going to be. It is still going to be about ten feet off the ground there, uh, but it is going to make a swipe against. You. Oh, that looks a bit too high. Where's my five foot one? There it is. Does it come through the moonbeam? Uh, it does not come through the moonbeam. Uh, it does not want to be hit by that again. Starting to learn its lesson. Uh, it's going to make uh, one one claw attack against you, uh, which is a nineteen. So a 26 to hit. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Did you, okay. just, did you just consider if the spider would get hit by him? Yeah. Um, it's better for BV. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 20 points of slashing damage. It does what? It does, it, oh I, my rolled, I rolled, I rolled, I rolled Yeah, I did rest. get absolutely massacred by this thing before. Ouchie. Well, they were, you were, the, it was using its bloody it used both. tail. Ouch. Okay, how much, how many? How many? 20. 20? Take the spider, and then the rest goes to you. Yeah, cool. Uh, and then after <laughs> making one attack against you, uh, it's going to uh, spin around, find the next lowest person uh, in its vicinity, which is Clove. Uh, oh. The person in front of me? Um, the person in front of you is its ally. Ah. Uh, it's mm-hmm. going to swing over to, huh. to Clove and goes through the moonbeam. Well, can I attack it? Uh, make a constitution, yeah. Make a first a concentration check on moonbeam. Uh, I roll uh. 20, so the DC is 10. Um, can I use bardic inspiration? Can you use bardic inspiration for the Uh Yeah, it's a, it's a saving throw. Because, wait, let me just is check my, your, your my your bonus. Surely not high enough. No? Yeah, I'm at a five right now. Oh, total of five. Um, oh, the the note burst. Go I on. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Really? Makes it to ten. To ten, exactly. Really? <laughs> Concentration is held. It has to that roll. That was the last bit. biting spread I had. Them. What did you say? You did a really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that is a uh, that is a thirteen okay, a disadvantage. Nothing very. Uh, as it goes through the. Moon it beam. goes through the moonbeam? To get to, cl- oh to my get to it has to go through the moonbeam. It's in a silly goofy mood. But do I get uh, an attack of... And, and you get an attack of opportunity. Ooh, mad damage. Um, mad damage, Did it bro. save? Uh, it did save. It will go to 13. What's your DC? Oh, 14. Oh, that went bad. Um, that is a 13 on the radiant damage. Ooh, yeah. Rough. And then bite it. Then bite it. Well, I'm not in my form anymore. Oh, and then hit it. Also. Hit it. Mm, I can't care trip hit it. <laughs> Uh, no, you can't. Not uh, yet. So, I attack it with, I guess, um, my scimitar. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Cool. 1D, oh, I've got to hit it first. Got to hit it first. Oh, natural 19. That is. Um, so 1D6. 
He is a big scaly one, uh, but he is not incredibly hard to hit. Oh, you see, it's still kind of soft, uh, softer skin. It hasn't kind of grown into its thick scales yet. Um, so it's still kind of fleshy as you swipe out He's against it. He's getting bigger as well. Five damage. Five slashing damage. Woo. Five slashing damage. Wow. Every little bit counts. That is intense. Um, that is uh, its turn. Uh, it's got, actually needs to roll to hit Clove. Uh, definitely hits very close to a crit there. Things could have been going Maybe a different direction. Maybe this is Clove's ex. Mm. Five. So uh, many lovers in one room. Uh, Clove is... Uh, on their very very last legs yeah. as they are kind of like uh, not even paying attention they're just trying to open the door the wyvern kind of like sweeps in and breaks across clove's back and clove like buckles uh at the door um and is looking really really bad sorry where is this at the top of the stairs at the top of, at the st- top of the stairs on the mezzanine yeah. uh, there is a locked gate uh like and right behind, at the top of the stairs and right at the top of the stairs okay, around yeah. a whole corner you've cool. got to travel uh, there is a kind of gated area, a forbidden section that uh, Jeff, yeah. uh, Jasper saw earlier. The 18 plus. Uh, the 18 plus section. Yeah. Um, and this is where Clove was frantically trying to dash to Understood. in amongst all of this. Understood. Um, but Clove is looking real, real bad. Um, <laughs> we, we bad. After its turn, the uh, spiritual weapon is going to close 15 feet towards you and make an attack. Natural one. Nice. <laughs> yeah. We should have a counter. <laughs> uh, yeah. Donate every time Robbie gets a natural that one. That is insane. You have to. It's not a choice. You all have to donate. Or take, a, you know, take a shot or donate. <laughs> that is insane. All right. Um, uh, they are... That was their bonus action. For their action, uh, they are going to cast a spell. And you wipe them. Succeeds at save. <laughs> Uh, as they are frantically reaching their hands up towards the wyvern, trying to kind of uh, push their essence upon it. The wyvern is kind of like frantically shaking its head and kind of rearing up uh, and is not able to be plus eighted by this this caster. Uh, B, you're up. I feel like the best with all, but I'm sad. Um, <laughs> can I try again to figure out what everyone's looking for? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Maybe make an insight check for me on this one. Oh, well, that's even worse. Um, that would be a three. Three? Yeah. Um, <laughs> man. A, a six. There's a, there's a, yeah, it's hard to pin down. This they're is. I'm not even sure if they're looking for anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're actually not. People are running upstairs now. What's upstairs? <laughs> um, B is a, B is a kind of a simpler, a, a simpler kid from a small town. Uh, Fighting on this scale is not something you're particularly accustomed yeah. to. This is all a bit new and scary. Um, your your magics have been way. yeah your magics have been used for for tomfoolery and fun, and this is this is scary, some scary <laughs> stuff. Um, the villagers are out though, and the neighborhood watch. Uh, Actually, no, uh, a little more in, in the distance. All my insights picked up when I'm nervous. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't done anything, have I? No, it's your turn. Okay. Um, the how far away is it? How far is what away from you? The Wyvern. The uh, It is. Um, Quick sk- sketching interval. Uh, I'd say it's about uh, 50 feet. Is that going to be five feet forward? Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to wheel I'm shooting. Nothing sounds good. Um, it's actually hard oh. uh, to get quite where you need to go. Don't listen to me. <laughs> the the thing is like thirty feet high, uh-huh. uh, and by Pythag. Um, oh, not Pythagoras. You would you would have I to be like. Uh, you would have to be like against the the very edge of the wall to, to get within thirty feet of it. Silly yeah, Pythagoras, always get in the way. Um, not quite. Am I going downhill? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. Unfortunately. Um. Horn, I keep going to say something not good. Um, the man with the horn. Could I? Uh, could so. I go with thirty feet? With thirty feet? Yeah. Uh, yes, you can. I'm gonna bonus action unclass. 
um, my wheelchair and, and, get and, get and, and get out and run. And get out and run. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you uh, you take a bonus action to pop out of the wheelchair and you uh, run uh, to the very edge and get within 30 feet uh, yeah. as you're standing I underneath the... I have jelly legs. I'm like... <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, for, sh- for sure. Yeah. Right in the middle of this chaos as well. Uh, yeah. I'm going to cast suggestion. Again. Brilliant. Um, and the saving throw. Uh, what's saving throw? <laughs> Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Wisdom saving throw uh, is a uh, 12. That fails! Whoa. Yeah! And I, I say, um, stop doing everything you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> really learnt from last time. Really <laughs> stop doing everything you're doing. Yeah. Um, and then also shout, no one attack it. As loud as I can. The wyvern you sure. did that to? Uh, yeah. Uh, the fairy fire is gone, so the, the ink. Back into its skin, sure. I guess. Yeah. Um, and then just like cast on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, there is a table beside you that you can kind of like lean on. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Um, it is. Now the neighborhood watches a turn. Um, uh, this one's going to go tackle the. Uh, it's going to tackle the horn figure. They were all in the wrestling team in high school. What's going on? No, this is the same one who tried to make the first tackle attempt. Uh, this mm. is the guy with the receding hairline. He's he really wants to relive his glory days. Yeah. Um, and with a twenty-five, <laughs> nails that. Nice. Uh, they're all pretty high as well, but a twenty-five still wins. They they run, uh, feeling a bit of a spring in their step. Uh, they just go up and close line and bring them to the ground. Um, and have grappled the, uh, the caster. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. They're feeling pretty chuffed with themselves. Um, brilliant. Uh, that is then bringing us back to the top with Clove, uh, who can get through the door. Um, would risk an attack of opportunity from the Wyvern, but the Wyvern is currently... Wait, what? What are you talking about? Hmm? Um... What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you, Clove is moving? Clove is moving. Never mind. <laughs> I thought someone... I thought... <laughs> just had your turn. I thought out. someone was moving to Clove. No, I've no, also no. used my opportunity attack. Um, um, Clove leaves. Disengage action. Uh, no, you can't. It is suggested to not learn anything. So oh, it facts, It does facts. not attack. Uh, Clove facts. gets in the room. It's generally suggested. Um, and uh, spends their action kind of like uh, grabbing a pile of notes. Clove's just been running around. Clove has shown them what they're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tori, you're done. Oh, they're really strong and fine what they're looking for. I better just grab it all in one <laughs> armful. Um, well, well, I have to dash all the way to get to this person uh, upstairs. You, you would ha- he dashed to get where he is, so you would have to dash to, to get up to him. <laughs> <laughs> so much effort. Uh, I'll, I'll use my 30 feet to get... Can I get up the stairs for that? Uh, you're 30 feet getting to the top of the stairs, yeah. Right, and I look around, what do I see? Uh, you see him about 30 feet away from <laughs> Such a big library, and for what? Where's the wyvern? Uh, the wyvern, you're now like up uh, on the viewing platform. Uh, the wyvern is, is across from you, like 60, 70 feet. Mm-hmm. And the sword is? The sword is uh, five feet in front of the guy you're, you're chasing. So about 35 feet away from you. There's a whole big cluster of stuff happening there. I'll there use is... my 30 feet dash, dash and run up, um, kind of trying to get not so much flanking, mm-hmm. like not in between the wyvern and the guy, but like off to the well, side. The wyvern's quite far ahead of the guy, yes, uh, up, up against the door. Could always come back, you know. So, okay, I'll get up right to so the guy sure. in between the sword and the. the I want to get the guy. You can't quite push past him. You, you can get behind him. Yeah, behind him, so the sword's on that side. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. And I'm on this side. Yeah, cool. And I'll just, I'll just be like, right, I'm going for your ankles this time. <laughs> Stop running. <laughs> Brian? That's the end of my turn. Uh, end of your turn? Yeah. Um, his turn, he sees you. Um, hmm. Yeah. You're in front of his space, and you're still up, hey? You're not, like, unconscious. Uh... You're in the direction he needs to run. Uh, he is going to. You look really rough. Mm. Like, no, I've been hit. Okay, uh, but he's going to make a shove attack against you, trying to chip you to the ground. 
Um, make an athletics check. Athletics? Yep. So strength or dexterity? Uh, this is a strength. Uh, strength. <sighs> nice. We've already used that bardic inspiration, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's erased from my notes. It's a six. Six. Uh, you are knocked prone, and he climbs over you to get where he wants to go. Is this the person next to me? Yep. Fantastic. There's no reason for the speed advantage. Damn. No. Unfortunately not. I mean, flanking with me. Uh, I think uh, when you're prone, it's Tori, Tori like, went out of her way to not flank with you if, if you wanted to get oh, in position with not so, Oh, I'm hit anyway. 23. 23 hits. Excellent. Who needs friends when you can just... Hit it. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> uh, seven <laughs> bludgeoning. Seven bludgeoning damage? Yes. I don't want to talk about you it. You knock him forward and he kind of like uh, really does like get thrown to his knees for a second but picks himself back up. I'm taking for the ankles. Um, I'm trying to smash him. Yeah, you like, like knock him back at the legs and really pushes him to the floor. Uh, he does pick himself back up. That is not him done. Um, <sighs> Give up, man. Five. Uh, I'm, five, I'm an ten, optimist, 15, but really, five. this is just too much. Oh, but the moonbeam is right in front of him. And you haven't dropped concentration on that. <laughs> it's not like he's going to move it. He's going to turn around. Uh, and he's going to attack you while you're on the floor. Um, Rude. Uh, I'm right here. I just smashed him uh, in his ankles. That is a, uh advantage of two and a natural 20. Uh, he hits. Oh. <laughs> 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 Yikes. Uh, uh, that is uh, 12 points of uh, acid damage. Acid damage? Yeah. Where does it come from? Uh, the fingers. Oh. As he just kind of like reaches over towards it and just like grabs you into the chest and like pulls you up by the ribcage. Which ribcage? Uh, <laughs> the, the second ribcage. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 12 points of acid damage. You are familiar with, with the magic that, that he is performing on you. Um, make a make a concentration check. Yeah. DC 10. I'm not using that die. Ah, uh, 16 plus. Ah, damn it. Well, that's it now. Um, the other cultist down here has really just been left been left alone. He is absolutely destroyed in the side of the library. He's been tearing it's in the through the pop books. culture section. We don't need that one. <laughs> uh, and he's turned around. He's now going to the other side that the other guys didn't finish. Damn it! Five, ten. He passes passes by you. What about the then, blighted land? Uh, he enters the blighted land, so is a bit slower. Yeah, half movement. Yeah, can't get all the way across because of the bite of the land. Oh, um, I, don't get it. I probably would have left my sword in my wheelchair. So yeah. I could punch him. Before. You can punch him if you want. Punch him in the back of the head. Uh, 14. 14. Uh, that hits. Oh, nice. Um, I thought, what is another one? One plus of strength. Plus of strength, right, two. Two! Two points of damage as you punch him in the back of the head. Oh, not the nice. <laughs> Cowards punch. <laughs> I'm like on the floor, just like, <laughs> like <laughs> the Cowards Um. Should aim for the angle. No worries. That is their turn. Um, Jasper, it is it is you. You're on the floor. Um. Would you like to do? Cute. I guess I use my my movement half my movement to get up. Good turn to get up. Good um. Guess. And then I use. You get to flanking rat. Uh, this one? No, you couldn't. Get Damn it. Can I use my bonus action? Well, if I were to leave this area, mm-hmm. I would get an opportunity attack. That would get an opportunity attack, right? Uh, yeah. I must disengage. Yeah. yeah, but that would use my action. Yes, it would. What's the go? Um, Sometimes it's just worth not dying. <laughs> mm. No. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast healing word on myself mm-hmm. which I know I could be casting cure wounds but healing word is a bonus action mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to okay, do that uh, 1d4 but it's the um, if you're casting as your action you can't what? can't what? cast two spells in one turn cast I'm not casting no, no, okay I'm also not casting yeah. Facts. It's already cast. Facts. Um, three plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which is four, gives me seven more hit oh, points. Oh, nice. Seven more hit points. Wicked. Yeah. 
Um, good, yeah, good, good. So uh, cool. Getting word rolls around the table tonight. Brilliant. Um, okay, and then I'm going to use my movement. <laughs> mm-hmm. My 15 feet of 15, movement. Yeah. Can I move closer to the where Clove is? No, he's now in your way. He's not in my way. Yeah, he's on the other side of your body. Epic. Um, he's, he's standing like like angrily standing in your way, and there's also the the spiritual weapon like there as well. Cool. I guess I <laughs> cast primal savagery and I give him no. I'm gonna hold my action. I'm gonna hold my action and my holding my action is to move Moonbeam to where the Wyvern is after the Wyvern's turn. Right, okay, sure. Through right. the Wyvern, like to a point past the Wyvern after the Wyvern's turn. Sure, brilliant. Uh, can be achieved. Um, it is the Wyvern's turn now. Uh, the Wyvern is not in the Moonbeam currently. Um, but is suggested. But is suggested um, and just told to do nothing. Do nothing. Uh, can it? Can it Try and drop suggestion. No, I think. And minus effect damage. Well, yeah, it's Wait, nothing. Is it like concentration? It lasts more than one round. Yeah, it lasts eight hours. Ah, oh, yes, would I have known that? Uh, I did shout, "Don't hurt it." I thought it was a one round thing. Yeah. Dana was just silly. Would yeah. I have known that? Uh, were you known that it? Would it, I feel like that would be an inside check against my don't hurt it. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you're just being told to not hurt it. Like, yeah, it's... I'm not like, don't hurt it now. I was just like, don't hurt yeah. it. Can I like not use my held action? You can not use your I'm not going to retcon to like do something else. Yeah. I'm just going to say I don't that's, use that's that. That's totally fine. If yeah. a different reaction appears, I'll let you use that. Thank you. But as it, uh, yeah, it does nothing. So it doesn't, doesn't. Doesn't move. No worries. Cool. Um, <laughs> he spends his turn doing nothing, which sucks. Um, uh, seeing you doing that, the caster is then going to pivot. It is being grappled, but that doesn't actually do anything. It's just like on the floor and kind of like glancing around, sees you uh, across the side of the room uh, and is going to try. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to recast spiritual weapon to appear right next to you. Um, and is going to make an attack against you. Oh dear. Uh, there is a there is a table uh, adjacent to you that you could have stumbled into. Huh. Uh, do you think B has used that to prop themselves up, or has hit the floor at this point? Has I said, hit the floor? Yeah. Still has hit the floor. No worries. Um, this is that advantage. Um, that is a three or a nineteen, which brings us to a twenty-two total. Uh, hits. Hits. Uh, so that is going to be. Um, 10 points of uh, damage. Alright. Um, please make a concentration check. Trying to trying to drop this drop this spell. See if we can get it. Hey? No. I'm, I'm what, am I, what am I going? What am I managing? You're aiming for a 10. You're aiming for a 10. 15. Yes. Plus my thing I use. Manifesting always works. Alright. Rough. Rough buddy. Um... Uh, it is then the it's then beast time. Um, is the guy looking at me? Um, is the guy looking at you? Yeah. Um, you uh, and by guy I'm, I'm assuming you mean gender neutral term. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I use I use guy gender neutrally. Yeah. Uh, this person <laughs> uh, this person is looking at you. They're like reaching out, okay. like with anger in their eyes. Um, I'm being perceived like can't go. I'm being perceived. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, I want to. Is there anything I can kind of move behind? Yeah, there's a table next to you. Flip a table. You can crawl behind the table. Flip a table. Okay. Can I I'm gonna, yeah, like feeling very vulnerable um, and very tired. Very perceived. Yes. Um, I'm going to crawl behind the table um, and cast Minor Illusion. Mm-hmm. Um, to just create like a five foot by five, five foot crate that I am in. <laughs> yeah, that's um, it. Trying to keep that as hidden as possible so that it's very yeah, the crate the table, existed the whole time. Behind the table there was a crate and in that crate you are. Yeah. <laughs> you are in that crate. <laughs> um, I like clutch my sketchbook to my chest and I'm like rolling. R- and drawing like... a crate. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, <laughs> amazing. Uh, yeah, you feel pretty, you feel pretty hidden. Um, that is going to be then uh, these guys turn. 
Uh, he's going to just kind of try and bonk this guy in the head. Um, doing the old grapple and bonk and misses. <laughs> so good at grappling. Uh, so bad at bonking. He's going to come in and help his mate, I think. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The other guy's coming over to help his mate. Um, bring us to Clove's turn. Clove runs out. Uh, of the door and is confronted with a big wyvern. Big day for Clove. A big day for Clove. Um, what's Clove going to do? Clove looks over the balcony really quick. No. Uh, to perceive Don't. what's around. Uh, and does perceive. The bee's hidden in a crate. Uh, doesn't perceive any allies around. Um, is going to. Uh, what brash decision is Clove going to make? Um, One thing about Clove, brash is in a Always making brash decisions. Sees the guy Specialist. on her pathway if she wants to run up, uh, if they want to run up that way. Sees the edge of the railings. They're going to go for it. <laughs> they're going to go for it. They're jumping. They're going to try and crawl over the rails and like let themselves down as much as they can. Full action God. to climb over the railings. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, brilliant. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them make a, a dexterity check. Uh, it's a nat one. That's a nat one. Rough day for Clove, am I right? Huge day. Um, Clove okay, is just six. dead. It doesn't, doesn't <laughs> Clove matter. Six, uh, eight. Clove yeah. <laughs> hits the ground, is out. Uh, the, I the, just watched someone just like... <laughs> <laughs> but they really did like try to lower themselves down from the balcony. Uh, but as they were like lowering down, their hands just slipped uh, and they just hit bang down. Uh, they do crumple first on top on top of a bookshelf and then roll from the bookshelf onto the ground. Oh. Um, but do land. Sorry, that's you. Uh, Clover lands kind of prone about five feet from you, um, with all of the papers just kind of scattered out. Um, I can't see. I can't see what happens. So I listen out to see if anyone calls. And I don't hear it, so I assume they oh, didn't I, fall. I think about shouting, and I'm like, wait. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, oh, Clove's fine. <laughs> didn't um, fall from the balcony. <laughs> Did I see Clove fall from the balcony? You just you fall and saw Clove fall from the balcony. Ah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, Tori's your turn. Well, Clove's fine. I'm glad they got out. Um, <laughs> there's a man in front of me. I'm going to smash. I'm going to mix it up a little Surely bit. Surely would have had a bang. The body hit a bookshelf. Something I do about it. Okay. <laughs> Priorities, right? Priorities. Someone's fallen. Oh. Okay. We don't know what happened to Clove. I'm a bit worried about I Clove. Have an attachment. <laughs> <laughs> In denial. We don't have any attachments to Clove. We're fine. I've never seen someone die. I feel before. nothing for them. I'm going to uh, hit this hit, hit hit man's in front of me. Uh, yep, yeah, you kind of sh- have to shove uh, Jasper out of the way, but you just kind of reposition uh, can Jasper. I not, can I not just walk around the other side? And it's, it's, a, it's a thin, it's a thin, it's a five foot gap, which is uh, in a practice a large enough hallway, but in terms of d and I'm going to shuffle my way, sorry, excuse I'm, me. I'm happy to let you guys just switch, sorry. switch positions. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Um, anyway, I just like reach my Warhammer back up. Um, it's kind of a tight space again, so I'm going to... Flip it in my hands, lift it up, and go straight for the noggin. Brilliant. Um, excellent. And that's advantage? Uh, if you are reckless. We're not flanking? No, you're both on the same side. Ah, uh, reckless. Uh, that is 24. Hits. And I'm going to uh, five bludgeoning, and I'm going to put some divine fury. Um, so this time it kind of like starts from the base and just like charges up and then just shoots straight through the front because I'm kind of just bopping it with it. <laughs> um, and for Radiant. Uh, as you bop him in the forehead, it's like a whole two second delay. You just hit him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Falls backwards. <laughs> bop it. He is absolutely <laughs> bopped down. Uh, I'm assuming again, non weekly. Um, I'm gonna try, but I did aim for his head. <laughs> I, you bonked him hard enough in the skull that he fell on big concussion, massive concussion from this guy. Uh, we'll need a doctor, but is alive. Great. And then uh, what's in front of me? He's out of my way. Uh, what's in front of you? Uh, yeah. There is a uh, there is ten feet, and then there are the moonbeam, and then there is the wyvern on the other side of the moonbeam. <laughs> I'll. Can I move 10 feet and hold 20 feet? No, that's an action to hold. hold Guess I'll just... Where am I? On the balcony? Can I see the balcony? Because I'm at the top of stairs? Yeah, you can now look over the balcony. I'll look over the balcony. 
And we're 30 feet up. Yeah. Clothes just on the floor, papers everywhere. Yep, uh, and the, the point that you're at the balcony as well, it's like fire kind of looking up underneath because this is where <laughs> one of the burning bookshelves were. So I was when you just leave something unattended for like <laughs> eight rounds of combat. Ah, flames. Getting a little antsy up here now. Um, I'll just move the 10 feet in front of the moonbeam. Does it hurt me? If you go in it, yeah. In. Can I say that I moved it somewhere else? Would that help? I'm going to say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my, out of my just DM rulings today, this will not be one Anything of them. for the DM. Anything for the DM, and I stop. You stop. No worries. You, you learn your limits. Um, <laughs> with two of the cultists down, uh, the third one sees clove fall, and is gonna dash over to clove. No! Uh, Keep uh, burning they in the, the blighted. They are, but I think they do have the movement still. Uh, ten feet to get there. Uh, ten feet to get there. Yeah. And enough movement to get to close. It does take an attack of opportunity. Uh, which Go on. misses. No, that was a d12. <gasps> Go on. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Okay. Um, Anything. Uh, the same roll, actually. Yeah. Uh, and that's a miss. Well. Um, no. Goes over the clove and spends its action grabbing Clove's stuff. Uh, just Damn grabbing it. the stuff out of Clove's hands, kind of snatching stuff out of the air that's still falling, oh. uh, and grabs them all himself. Um, Jasper, your turn. Um, can I move the moonbeam to where that cultist is? That is directly over Clove. Like directly over Clove? He is leaning over Clove's body. Ugh. Get his booty. Um, can I... The Quaven is still there as well. Yeah, but the Wyvern is fine. Um, <laughs> oh, can I jump over the railing? Yep. Whee! Yeah, the one, the bookshelf beneath you is the burning bookshelf. You can move like 20 feet forward and then jump over a not burning bookshelf. Yeah, yeah. I just want to be close to Clove. Yeah, go for it. Uh, make a dexterity check. Yeah. That. Ooh. Um, as me, that is, I don't think is that great, but I mean, it's not a natural one. Um, yeah, that is uh, 14. 14? Uh, okay, you, so you still take the damage. Uh, it's still 12 points of bludgeoning damage. That's okay. Um, but you don't land prone. You do land, uh, you like roll, you hit the bookshelf, you roll off the side of the bookshelf, but you like land on your feet. Um, and you have 10 feet more, more movement left, which is uh, enough to get a melee with the guy over Clove. Yeah. yeah. Um, can I, is, can I use a bonus action to shove? Is Not that part of that? Ah. Nah, only, it's part of an attack Shame, yeah. shame. Um, I will use... Shame. <laughs> I'm going to use my bonus action to move my defile ground to where we are. Yep, absolutely. And then I'm going to use my action... To primal savagery. Sure, yeah. go for it. Roll that attack. Cool. No. Um, it probably doesn't hit. Plus. Da, 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 da. Um. Wait, where does it say that? No. Uh, it's your spell attack modifier, which I can get up for you real quick. Uh, it's 10. Yeah. Your spell attack modifier is 10? No, it's 4, I think. Right. Oh, wait, no, it's 6. 6. <laughs> I have it written down now. Uh, it's plus six. Plus six, so twelve. Misses. We, plus we do know their AC, it is thirteen. Um, it's like me for real. Uh, you just miss. <laughs> the AC. <laughs> plus six. Uh, but the defiled ground is underneath him, so he is going to be slow. That's um, my turn. That's your turn? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, the Wyvern is still just kind of simming out up the top. Um, you can see it's kind of like get, becoming a little bit more docile. It's stopped like thrashing around, but its head is still kind of like <laughs> whipping around furiously trying to find uh, something. You don't know what. Um, but it is not attacking you. Uh, uh, this sword, um, it can't, it's lost focus on, on where you are, uh, but this spiritual weapon is going to attack you, um, Jasper, as you've come up towards where the spiritual weapon is, which is going to be a uh, 14 hit. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Uh, it kind of slashes just shy of you. Um, Is that, gosh darn, ribcage? Yeah, it gets uh, right their, on one of the ribs. <laughs> yep. Spends their action to try and break free of their grapple. Uh, they roll pretty well. And he rolled so breaks free of their grapple. Uh, one, uh, two. B, it's your turn. I'm to the left. 
Um, there's the spellcaster who's, the, uh, who's still there. The spiritual weapon too. Spir- the, oh, the, that, that is a spiritual weapon yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then there is one uh, of these cultists who was doing a really good job destroying books. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, oh, has, and has the, the, um, and has has the papers. papers. And has the papers. And a giant. And a, a wyvern who's not really doing anything. And now that we're in the wyvern of Besties, what are the, what's the wyvern looking for? What's the wyvern looking for? Um, make me a check with advantage. I want you, I want you to get this one. insight with intelligence? Uh, I will let it... Does it have to be or can it be? Can it be? Can it be? I will say can be. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. I'll, I'll award you this. I think this needs to go in dust. Ooh, yeah, dust jail. So that's a total of a... Do you um, need a dust jail? <laughs> nine. It's, I've tried to figure this out yeah, so many times. Yeah, every turn. It's rough, man. You don't know. You don't know. I'm very tired. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh... This, this, this person, I'm, I'm getting the sense that the person who has all these papers, I don't want them to leave with the papers. Yeah, that seems right. Right. And they, uh, how likely is it that that's going to occur? Quite likely? Uh, at this point, they have not been attacked once, uh, and you've... So they're not, they're not looking damaged at all? Not looking damaged at all. Have I been able to gather how many hit points these, these folks tend to have? This folk, oh, they have actually been damaged a little bit, but okay. they haven't been damaged at all, they haven't limped a little bit. Um, uh, no, I'm not going to tell you that. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like uh, over yeah. 20, I think. It's over 20. How much I bonked them. I don't I'm say I'm going to. Yeah, you guys did 32. You, yeah, you did do 20 points of damage in one turn. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. my, my ballpark is 32. It's actually 85. <laughs> 152 hit points. It's the end boss. <laughs> Legendary cultures. <laughs> Hobbies include oh, arsony. So many sounds. And stealing paperwork. Brilliant. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, I'm going to hold. Um, I don't lose a spell slot if it doesn't happen to me. I won't. No. Um, I'm gonna hold sleep. Um, Brilliant. if it oh, yeah. seems like it's gonna get out. Smart. Yeah, cool. Smart. No Smart. Worries. Um, no problem. Um, Let's stay in my crate. <laughs> they are going <laughs> to <laughs> both attack the. They're going to get advantage on these, and they're both going to attack the caster. Nice. Um, that's a hit. Nice. And a hit. Nice. Um, which is going to be... Are they still in the defile ground? No, you moved away from them to get the other guy. Um... <laughs> it's a disappointment in yourself. Oh, 14. <laughs> 14. 14 points of damage. Yeah. It's rough. That is good. Um, Could have been 2d4 more. Could have been 2d4 more. Yep, but Um... <laughs> Alright, uh, brings the Clove Corbin. Oh, Clove. Well, let's, uh, let's, Nat 20, let's, come on, I, you've been rolling so many. Can I get it on camera anyway? Alright. Um, well, we don't get to know what it is. No, it is. it's the house rules. <laughs> Yeah, but the, 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 the camera doesn't I know think, what it was. I think over the, the reaction we just got. You don't maybe. know anything. You, it's your turn. Can I insight oh, check God. the DM? No, no, no. <laughs> um, Okay, so Moonbeam, Wyvern's no longer a threat. I'm going to jump off the railing. Make a dexterity check. Uh, I'm going to move. <laughs> bold of you to assume I thought about anything in this <laughs> combat. I uh, move to a bookshelf that's not burning. Yeah. And what was it? Dex check or Dex saving? Check. Excellent news. Um, that is a 16. That is a 16 plus 1, 17. 17. Uh, that is a success. Uh, you land three point landing down into the ground. You only take half of the ten, so you take five points of blazing damage. Feeling and halved again. Uh, no. So you no. You took ten points, half down. To oh, I see. Five I see. From raging. Oh wow, that would have just zonked me. <laughs> Didn't think about that very much. <laughs> anyway, we're fine. Um, and then I run. Yep. Uh, towards... It's going to be crowded here. You can jump on top of one of the bookshelves if you want to get within five feet of Old Man. <laughs> Specify Old Man? The, the, uh, paper, the paper holding? Yeah. Paperweight? Um, yeah. Okay. I run across the top of the bookshelves. You climb onto one, climb onto one of the bookshelves. It's like been top, it's been toppled over at this point. It's one of the ones they throw to the floor. Right. But you kind of go, cra- uh, climb on top of it and go uh-huh. for the attack. Yeah. Am I flanking with anyone? No. Can I? No. A reckless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good to ask before I subject myself to advantage attacks. Uh, oh, 23. 
23. Why am I planking with Matt? Uh, I don't know, Jasper is. Aw. Upsetting nose. Claude is unconscious. Mm. <laughs> uh, 11 bludgeoning. Mm hmm. I'm going to put that mm -hmm. divine energy, mm -hmm. and I'm aiming for defile ground. Aiming for the arms sure. yeah. to prompt a dropping of papers and three sure. radiant. Blah. So eleven, uh, fourteen. I'm going for the elbows. That's not cool. yeah. Four necrotic. Oh, baby. Uh, yeah, you crack into his shoulder, and it kind of buckles under a little bit. Uh, he doesn't seem to drop the papers, but he seems to drop his confidence. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was aiming for, the emotional attack. <laughs> uh, uh, and, he, and he dashes. He, he gets yeah, the, opportunity. He gets outie, opportunity. So two opportunity attacks from you guys. And I'm still reckless. Uh, technically one from you as well. Um, no, I still only have my fist. This is not worth it for the two damage. 20. Do I so get yeah. advantage because Clove's there? Uh, <laughs> no, Clove's unconscious. Dirty 20 Dirty for me. Hits. Um, like... 22 or something. Yes. Nine bludgeoning. And you, you're hitting with your fist? No, with your scimitar. Scimitar, yeah. Nine bludgeoning. Nine bludge. Yeah, I guess. And plus necrotic plus every time. Plus a d4. I'll do oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's once Wait, no, per it's turn. Per oh, once per turn. It's once per turn. First this time is a new turn. Per turn. New turn? First attack per person per turn. Yeah. So you both have d4 on it. Excellent. Um, yeah. Oh, I rolled the lame. D4. Okay, I take it back. How much? Um, I, I didn't get to roll My it. attack is... No, I, got, I got told off. <laughs> I rolled the d4. Oh, that's yeah. nice. my feature. Fire, it's fair me. Enough, fair enough, I understand. Um, You're right. <laughs> um, that is... I'll know my place as a barbarian next two time. Two necrotic <laughs> damage. Two necrotic raging. damage and uh, five slashing damage. <laughs> and... Blah. <laughs> Doesn't count. But, um, one necrotic damage. Wow. Good thing I rolled it. What? Good thing I rolled it. Yep. I rolled a yep. one as well. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, you should feel absolutely very good about your your class abilities there. If those d4s went a different way, this might have been a little bit different. Uh, but he does pull himself out of this mess. Um, but it's defiled ground, so he's gone slow. Uh, he does his first 15 feet. Um, uh, it's a 10 foot radius, so yeah, he gets exactly here. Um, uh, oh, and then he dashes. Get him out of the room. Is that the person with the papers? That's the person with the papers. Sleep. Oh, and yeah! Take it. And they, there has been damage <gasps> done. Surely! Wow. Surely! Am I gonna get duped beep, by the beep, sleep beep, spell? Beep, beep. <laughs> oh, one on the first one. It's fine. There's so many other numbers. Come on, guys. You gotta kiss it. Whoa. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling good now. Whoa. Things changed around for me. I told you. Well, there's so many. Intense sleeping moment. Okay, so. 20. <sighs> that was two ones, two fives. <laughs> Ah. The two ones were before the kiss. Yeah, it was two it ones in He trips over, <laughs> <Highly falls out. laughs> uh, scatters his papers to the Woo. ground. And I'm out of spell slots. Woo. Uh, we don't think about that. We uh, think about it snooze. It is Jasper's turn. Nap time. It's quiet time in the library. Jasper's turn. Um, Finish him. Um, <laughs> well, no. Yeah, if I, if I attack the person to sleep, they wake up. Um... I'm gonna go Large and. The how's the epic. other cultists doing? Uh, the other cultists are down. Horn. Uh, like down? Oh, Even the, the spellcaster? The, 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 the spellcaster? No, they're, they're up. They're just in the middle of two guys. Grappled. They're not um, grappled. Oh, I'm gonna. Between two guys. Between two guys. Why? <laughs> 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 other people was flanking. They can't move being there. Because yeah. they'll get hit. Yeah. Um, and the wyvern is still like, not... Still suggested. We'll be suggested, suggested for eight hours. Okay, cool. Um, I'm it's enough time to evacuate over. everyone from the village. <laughs> I'm gonna move the moonbeam, I guess, to the person asleep. Like, the moonbeam will probably get them down. We've got turns before then. Sure. I would rather they not wake up. How far away Success. are they? Success. On their con save? 
Surely they don't get. No, that's concept. It's not dex or. If they sleep, Anything? damn. Shame. Shame. It's just their, their body's ability to resist Shame. the effect. They're doing I'm really well. Regretting this immediately. No regrets. Only moves. Blah. Oh, can I? Ah, nice. Um, 15. Halved to 7. seven. They stand back up. Are they awake? No, they're not. They don't stand back up. They don't stand back up. They wake up. <laughs> they, they they're actually legendary. <laughs> um, and how far away are they from me? Um, about 40 feet. And how do they Ooh. look? Uh, how, how do they, they look? look? Awful. They look awful? <laughs> awful. I think they're starting their turn in Moonbeam then. They will yeah. be starting their turn in Moonbeam. Um, I'll use my bonus action to move Defile Ground over there. Oh, I should have done that first. Shame. <laughs> Um, sure, you move to far ground over there. Yeah, that's my turn. Oh, I'm gonna get like closer. Um, like I move 30 feet in that direction. Uh, you can get on top of the table, that's probably the best, your closest you can get. Yeah, I stand on top of the table. Sure. Um, uh, what happens to nothing? <laughs> um, it is the other, other caster. <sighs> the spiritual weapon makes an attack against you. But I was, I'm so far away now. No, you're, you got closer to the spiritual weapon in, in all of that. This thing, I knew <laughs> I that think when I moved. Like, uh, I think they're like, it's, it's all good. The spiritual weapon hasn't really been doing much, uh, but it rolled a 17. If, if I knew that I was moving towards a spiritual weapon, I wouldn't have moved in range of the spiritual um, weapon. You were already in range of the spiritual weapon. Oh, if okay. you wanted to get out of the range, you'd have to turn around and run the other way. I mean, you, you know that these things can move in space. Okay. Um, so if you wanted to get out of its range, I'm happy to let you run the other direction, but you were already in its in its range. Okay. And I got closer to it. You you just got to the other side of it, really. Like okay. you on you were about ten feet from it on this side, and then you became ten feet on it on that side. Uh I would like to get behind Tori so it goes for Tori first. <laughs> then you like don't really move from where you are. She you kind worked. of stay around where you were first. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. No worries. Um then on its turn, um it is going to Because uh, I won't yeah. I know I won't survive another attack yeah, it's against going to, me. It's so going I to attack Tori. That. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling really good about this. Uh it's you were reckless so it's an advantage. Yes. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Natural okay. 20, off. Oh. Uh, only oh. got one though. Uh, so two up to five. Halved. Nope, it's radiant damage. Damn it. No, it's not, it's force damage, which is still not halved. Uh, it takes two attacks of opportunity. It's trying to run away. This is all getting very, very dire straits now. Dire straits. Uh, a natural 20 and a yeah, miss. No. Um, oh, the horn person? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, three points of bludgeoning damage uh, as they run out of this guy's range. Miss with advantage, unlucky champ. Uh, oh, true, they have advantage. Um, <laughs> this is... Yeah, miss with advantage, still, unlucky champ. Still unlucky champ. <laughs> Roll out the type, and again. <laughs> uh, okay, so 510 and then is in difficult terrain. Um, uh, 20... 30 to get to next to its mate um, is going to grab the papers. No. They're lovers. Grab the papers uh, and is going to get out of it. What? Do they w- walk past us at all? Uh, no, they don't. Uh, they walk through the moonbeam. They do walk through, through the moonbeam. That is that is this one the one last chance to see Done. if this uh, to con. see if this grabs them. Con. Uh, this is a con save, of course. Seventeen. Uh, that one's coughed. I think it would help if half your dice tray wasn't full of dice. <laughs> if you had less dice <laughs> just sitting there. It's very close, just guys. Just dice on top of dice. Okay. Stop me. Um, sorry, that's six moonbeam damage. Six moonbeam? Radiant. Yeah. Uh, um, halved or oh, is it 12 damage? And six? then three. So three? Three mo- radiant and three necrotic damage because they're in the defiled ground. Yeah. That would be half movement, by the way. That would be half movement. Uh, on on their escape, ground. they do get out the front door, but from where they are beyond that point, you are uncertain. Um, they do, they, um, they with, with their dash action, they do manage to get outside, um, but from where they are now, anyone's guess. Uh, as you are inside, uh, which leads us to B. You are in your little crate behind your desk. <laughs> Uh, the guy who you, um, the guy who you 
not before um, just just like shoved the stuff into into the other cultist's hands. Um, yeah. It, but is uh, is yeah conscious. Ran past and just kind of like shoved the papers okay. up as they um, ran past. From my crate. Oh uh, no, I can't. I'm thinking of my wheelchair. Mm. Your wheelchair is here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my crate. I'm really afraid of losing Um. The, one of that guy is still alive? Like, this guy. has woken up? He's woken up, yeah. Okay. And the other one is out the door? Don't know, can't see. Don't know, can't see. I outside, out of mind. I could know if it's down behind. Close very, like. very tense ending here. They are outside, but you guys have one more round here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I can't do anything really. That's fine. I'm going to special song in a vicious mockery, the one who's almost dead, but awake. Uh, I was in this crate this whole time. He rolls a four. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! So looking, um, You're so bad at looking. Is your vicious mockery? <laughs> brilliant. I'm very tired. Four. Four. Uh, he's four. back. He's down. He's gone. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was in the crate the whole time. It was really. He wakes up and he is shocked. I'm and like, I put you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he is shocked and awed and he just. Boom! Hits, hits his head back down. Amazing. Uh, he is out. Brilliant. Um, uh, uh, I'm not within touch of anyone. No. Uh, you are within touch of of Clove. Clove. And Clove's basically. Uh, if you give temporary hit points to someone, on they don't. It doesn't bring up from from. So sad. Yeah. Um, can you help? Can you try and help someone on a? Uh, I, yeah. I, I will. You make a medicine check to try and stabilize Clove if that's if that is in your. Uh, if that's something you want to try and do yeah. to make sure um, Clove doesn't die. That would be oh, you, you made it from your action and cast a mix mockery, so yeah. maybe not. Maybe not this um, time. I can't help. Um, can you help uh, I'll say first. you can help if somebody else attempts to do this, then you will be giving the help action to... So I can give the help action to whoever is helping Clove with it by yeah. touch of yeah, Clove. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we'll that. Um, You're helping Clove get up, which is, yeah, in turn. Um, and I, yeah, okay, I will use Fake Gift to help with the bonus action, and I'll use Hospitality, so whoever I end up helping gets Cool, fantastic. Um, uh, last attempts from Jasper. Uh, sorry, last attempts from uh, Tori, uh, and then Jasper. Tori first. Did um, Neighborhood Watch want to help <laughs> with Clove at all? Um, you can tell them to. You can be like, you, they're seemingly unaware. They're, they're, they got really into kind of taking this, uh, this spellcaster down. They're closer to the spellcaster than me. Yeah. Um, Clove spellcaster. There's two of them. <laughs> One of you, get out there. <laughs> you, Give. you tell the neighborhood watch, yes. Yeah. What do you get out there? Keep an eye on that weird one. You help the dead one, and I sprint full dash <laughs> like out the door. Well, I use thirty. I don't get out the door. Uh, okay. So five, ten. Okay, 15, 20, okay, 30 gets there, 5, 10, 15, 20. Such a big uh, 30 one. 30 to like burst open that front door. Yeah, okay. I'm um, quick, quick. God, get a little cheeky look around. Uh, you see him? How far? About 10 feet away, run away. Oh, you would be 10 feet away, wouldn't you? I, uh, oh, I use my action to Earth Tremor. I, um. Uh, you had to get there by the down action. Oh, sorry, I thought. I, no, 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 you're 30 feet. You're 30 feet got you. This library is so big. Yeah. It's a big library. It's a big oh library. Oh my goodness. This, yeah. These squares on the map just This is, this do is the not, jewel of the town of Wolverton. Do this not is. encompass this at all. Um, okay. Uh, th- there was a lot of difficult terrain that you were moving through. That well, that doesn't, it doesn't affect not, my... Not the, not the blighted land, it's just the like desks and okay. the chairs and the, and the that's stuff. Chill. And the crates that's chill. that are in the way. <laughs> that's chill, that's fine. Um... Yeah. I'll just keep it there, keep an eye on where they're yeah, going. Sure. Uh Jasper. Um I'm going to use my bonus action. No, I'm gonna move thirty feet. Yeah. I'm gonna move thirty feet towards the door. Uh okay, so same kind of deal. There's a lot of difficult terrain in your way. Five, ten, uh fifteen, twenty. About 30. Yep. Can I see through the door now that it's open? Uh, you can, but you just see in front. You don't see them through the door. Um, Gosh, darn it. I'm pointed. 
that yeah. way. Yeah. But you don't have side. to fall. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm going to use my um, action to dash to get to where the door is. Mm. And then I'm going to use my bonus action. The Blighted Land was like. Just, closer. You just passed it, yeah. Can I move the Blighted Land right with them at the edge? Yeah. Like I want nice. them to be at the edge so that they have to oh, move the, through. Oh, the person outside? Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, does it move a place you can see? Uh, well, I said I moved 30 feet. You, you got to like the door. Um, is it a place you can see or is it a place where you can see? Because I'll let you give your best guess as to where they are. Um, so you're not out the door? Um, no, it's like you're in the doorway, so it's kind of behind you. Well, to, I would have gone um, out and right you. Unfortunately, down the movement, you were kind of, you, you, you got all dashing straight to the door. Tori was five foot behind you when this all started, so it ended five foot behind I'm you. I'm big boned! In the <laughs> it just says, the can be moved up to 30 feet as a bonus action. Yeah, sure. Uh, you move across to a point that you can't see, hoping that it is well, catching them. I saw Tori. You see which direction they're looking. Yeah. You're all, you're pretty confident around there. Brilliant. Yeah. If, if you can't see it, that's fine. Um, and your turn? Yes. Give awesome. up on uh, that is that will catch them in a, in a no way. Um, it is their turn, however. Tori, you see them go invisible. And as they vanish from sight into the night, uh, that is where we'll end session two of DD Live Presents Halos in the Hearth. A harrowing escape from my coldest glare. Does Clove survive? We'll never <laughs> Does Clove survive? Tune in next week to find out. Uh, will this wyvern simply, <laughs> simply sim for the next stay hours. here, or, or will they be able the to excavate it? The library will burn down, and the library uh, just in there. Yeah, will they put out the fire in the library? <laughs> Many more questions to come on um, next week's episode of DD Life Presents Hails in the Heart. Yeah. Uh...